Welcome to the Bigger Boys One Shot. All right. All right. So we're in. You guys are going to be playing a one shot. Um, it's part of a long series of the Burden of Knowledge. This is like, I'd say, about a third of the way through the game. Um, you guys find yourselves um, heading through the Badland, Badlands. Um, you've been you've been asked by Sid, um, who's sort of the the head of an oasis, uh, to come and help out um, with a little problem they're having. Um, he'll dive into it a little bit more deeply. But the the bottom line is that you guys are a band of brothers, if you will, and um, sort of heroes for hire uh, today. Um, typically, at this point, depending on your comfort level with the uh, role playing. Um, we go around and you introduce your character and uh, sort of like if there's any backstory, anything that the team should know. Um, if you want to be, you know, if you just want to be a group of dudes who are just hanging out um, and don't share their innermost feelings, we can do that as well. <laughs> so, well, how do you guys, you guys want to introduce your character or do you guys just want to just roll for it? Go for it. All right, go for it. My name is awesome so xander set the bar high with um let's see if he can maintain this accent for the next four hours um <laughs> awesome xander so uh how did you meet the rest of the crew I stumped you. Church. <laughs> nice. Anyone else want to? Uh, you know, you guys are just walking. Um, you guys are heading up towards this, uh, something called Great Peak Pass. It's this mountainous, uh, mountainous trail. Um, on the other side, gets back into the the Badlands proper. Um, so you have a little walk in time to chat. <laughs> a any other role players out there? Uh, okay. no, yeah, how about this? <laughs> My name is Hernan Cortez. I am a conquistador. Uh, I travel for gold, loot, and booty. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. by booty, do you mean treasure? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> awesome. Mean a lot of All right. What about you, Hewitt? My name is Whistle of Yeah. I'm a wizard. <laughs> uh, I have a very traumatizing past, so uh, I do not want to go into detail. Oh, cool. You're the, you're, you're the sort of the emo of the group, I guess. Uh, uh, Miko. Uh, I'm Miko. As a child, I grew up with a pack of giants. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So then, go ahead. I forgot to say that I'm a half ogre, or what is the middle? Half point. <laughs> and which is your favorite half of being an orc? You know, I do get abs being an orc. Abs are good. And I'm sharing the screen. There we go. You don't have to click that screen I just shared you guys. That is that is for the viewer. Because we're not streaming live to YouTube. This will show up on YouTube, but it, we're not streaming live. Um, all right. So I think you've done your introductions. Um, 
you guys are sort of tooling around is sort of enjoying, you know, enjoying the day. Um, it starts to cool off a little bit and you're going to find yourself at Great Peak Pass. So I'm going to load that now. And I hear myself talk, talking. How about now? Okay. No, I still hear myself talking. You mute yourself. Uh, mute your mic. How about now? How about there? There we go. Yeah. Mute your mic. There it is. Cool. You know, us old old people don't know how to use technology. Um, all right. So you're going to find yourself at Great Peak Pass. So let me load that up for us. Get off the title screen. And this is your first real screen. And it'll take a second to load. Two seconds for everybody. Tell me when you guys now, if you can see stuff. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, so so I'm going to give you an undo. So here's here's the rule I forgot to tell you. Uh, moving you guys back. Um, move movements are any movement you make are for real. So if you if you Leroy Jenkins and uh, end up in battle because one of you guys just sort of wandered ahead, that's that's a thing, right? So what? So it's okay. Everybody does it the first time. They're like, oh, I can move around, and they just sort of start running around the screen. So in in combat, it stops you from moving, right? Unless it's your turn. Out of combat, I I can enable free movement, which um, normally I do. But before anyone moves, we typically go like, all right, so go ahead and move your next 30 feet or whatever, right? Uh, because procedurally, s things are going to happen, <laughs> right? Um, all right, so um, good news. You get, um, you get some narrative here. So let me do this. Great big fans. So here's a little backstory. Um, if you look at your chat window, you should see. I don't know why it went twice, but it's it's delightful. I can show you the image. There you guys are. You're you were in a little wagon, whatever. So you know, as as dawn's rosy fingers tug at the fringes of night, you steal away from the somber city of Lork, which is where you guys came from. You move like shadows under the cloak of early morning, weaving through the dimly lit alleyways and silent streets, your footsteps whispering tales of the clandestine journey to come. Right. Um, and you guys are kind of bypassing some of this. Right. So you're leaving the city behind. You, you know, you begin your ascent into the towering Great Peak Mountains. The landscape changes dramatically as the soft contours of the cityscape give way to the rugged wilderness. Verdant forests blanket the lower spaces of the mountains, their trees reaching for the sky and with gnarled limbs. Higher up, the verdant green gives way to raw, ice capped peaks that pierce the sky like giant shards of glass, right? So what's happening is you guys are sort of heading into the mountains. The air is growing a little thinner. It's growing a little colder as you get higher. You know, you continue to press on. Your hearts are steeled against the biting chill because, you know, you're excited about the money. Uh, I heard somebody's excited about the booty. Um, now, at this point um, in, the, in a normal game, there might be random encounters and whatever else, but we're going to try to sort of compress this so you guys get to focus on the fun bits. Um, so that means we skip that stuff and you guys end up here in this lovely place. Great peak pass show. So here is where you're walking through. All right. Great peak pass. Um, so you and your companions traverse the harsh terrain of great peak mountains. The journey is arduous, not without its majestic beauty. The path snakes through the heart of the range. A narrow ribbon of the earth is carved by centuries of rain, wind, and the relentless march of time. Towering cliffs reach for the heavens on either side. Cast in hues of deep gray and molten gris where resilient shrubs and trees have managed to root themselves in rocky soil. As you round the bend, you find yourself standing at the entrance to Gray Peak Pass. The path here narrows further, flanked on either side by steep, craggy walls to make it a formidable natural barrier. A sense of foreboding hangs in the air as if the mountains themselves are holding their breath in anticipation. Right. So, you know, you guys have come up to what's classically known as a choke point. Right. Um, you know, this 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 pass is sort of notorious. It's the one way to get through the mountains. 
if you're going across the mountains, this is the pass. This is it, right? Um, travelers, you know, go through here regularly, um, safely. And other times, you know, they're hit with bandits. You sort of never know what's going to happen, right? Um, so here you are. Your party is sort of grouped up, right? Um, you're on the road. You're on foot. Um, this is where, and we're, we're all learning. This is where I'd ask, so, so what do you guys want to do? What's your plan here? Nothing, nothing to attack yet. And f fun fact, in, in the real game, so last night um, we were playing, and one of, the, um, one of the players has a bagpipe. And they thought they'd be funny, and they pulled out their bagpipe and started playing it, and it aggroed, like, they almost died. They aggroed so much stuff, right? So I'm a little liberal at first, but, you know, because I love to make the jokes. But um, just so you know, like. No, no, I don't want you to behave. I, I that's what keeps it interesting, right? I'm just I'm just setting the ex expectation that, like, you know, you guys make choices. Right? You're role playing. So you're these characters. So if you're like, I scream, fuck you as loud as I can. And then stuff comes out of the trees. That's on you, man. <laughs> right. Oh, I didn't ask. Hopefully. I can, I can, like, my mouth is a little bit potty mouth once in a while, so just uh, keep me honest. All right. Um, uh, are you, are, are you the per? Yeah. Um, all right. So here, here's where you are. So now there's a couple of things that you guys can do, right? Um, you could just trod forward and hope for the best. The other is like, you could take a break, you know, take a step and go, like, wait a minute. I want to know if there's anything up with this area. Is there anything I should be worried about? In which case, you would say, hey, you know, and one of you should just role play this, right? Like, you know, hey, maybe we should, like, let's get our bearings. Let's see what's up. Turn the friend place. There you go. So here's, so here's what I would typically suggest. Like, you come into a new area. The first thing you really ask is, like, all right, now, do I perceive anything weird? And I'll say, well, hold on. Let's roll a perception check. So we're going to do that now. Right? So perception. And then I'm going to hit start epic roll, and it's going to pop up on your screen, and then you're going to roll your dice. There you go. So then I take a look. I'm like, ah, oh, okay. Um, so Xander, right? Um, you know, you're so busy admiring your shoes that you really don't perceive anything um but the, yeah yeah and you know and 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 hernan can't make too much fun although at least he broke 10 um but the you know the good news is you have muck on your on your party right and between muck um and who and, and and miko you guys are pretty okay so you know while the, the other two of you guys are sort of like looking around and you know yeah looking at like like you admiring a butterfly that flew by um the rest of you've noticed that there's a little movement um, you sense a little bit of movement on that east ridge, just you know, just to the east of you. Um, you couldn't really make out what it was, even with that twenty-one. And, and by the way, twenty-one is super high. Um, but it, but it's definitely. It, it didn't sound like wildlife. It, it sounded like someone was sort of milling around. And then I say, all right, so you know, what do you guys? How do you guys want to proceed? Um, and now I'm gonna. You now here's where it gets real. I'm gonna unclick free movement. I mean, I'm gonna click on free movement. Don't move. Don't move unless you tell me you're moving. That's the only ask. And then I'll tell you if I'll tell you if you can. All right. So now um, at this point, you guys can move around. Um, you can investigate. You can, you know, you can ask questions. Um, you're now in control. And, um, so, yeah, so so, yeah, the rest of like your the rest of your party muck. I'll, I'll sort of speak for muck muck, you know, like like in a hushed voice is like, hey, guys, like something's up on that rib or you know that rid the rid ridge and uh and it just doesn't it doesn't feel right i'm not sure what it is but it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like game it seems like uh like something i don't know if we're being watched or what right so and typically that's what muck would say i'm just but i'm just modeling it for you guys as you as you learn right yeah so then Oh, north it's north, south, east, west is always north is up, south is, is down, east and west are left and right, right? Yep, always, yeah. It's just to keep it simple. <laughs> All 
Oh, that's a good. That's a good point. That's a good. You guys should. Um, so. You should you should probably establish who is the leader, because I do like to have that one point of contact. So who is that point of contact? Um, you, well, a minor illusion you would cast as a, as an illusion. And if something sees it, it sees it, right? So you don't have to, you don't have to target. Yeah. Yeah. You're allowed to do that. So here's the things that you have, to, here's the things you have to ask yourself. This is just learning, right? Is if you, if you do that, do you are you are you ready to fight if what if there's 10 things right what if there's one thing also yeah also you could um also um you only have so many unless it, uh, so if you have a cantrip that you can use it as many times as you want if you have if it's a spell you only get to use it x number of times usually you get like three spells per long rest so you want to use them so it's a very precious resource right so you don't want to cast something that's not super meaningful Right. And there is one other thing to know this. You guys can choose one or more of you to move in stealth mode. Um, the way stealth mode moves is you either move half your distance silently, right? Or your full distance and you roll stealth. Now, if you're wearing armor, that's gonna you're gonna you're gonna be it's gonna be at a disadvantage, right? So it's hard to be stealthy in armor. We Yeah, it's 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 why it's it's a blessing and a curse, right? But I let you move. I'll let you move half your distance silently, even if your stealth is bad. But if you want to go farther, then you have to roll. Okay, so which one are you? All right, Muck. Um, so you want to roll? Where you where you? So first off, move your character, and then we'll see what happens. That's that's how it works. So there you go. Thir thirty. Yep, thirty feet's your max. Okay, so Muck, I'm going to have you roll um, stealth, so give me one second. And stealth, and you need to beat, I'm going to make it easy for you, you have to beat a six. And here it is. So roll that dice. Yeah, a normal roll. And you, yeah, so you got there ju just fine, right? Like nothing, nothing hurt you. So basically, if you'd re rolled a six or below, that meant that something may have heard you. Yeah, go ahead and who, um, anyone who wants to move, go ahead and move. And then I'll have those people roll a stealth check. I'll, and I'll have, 
Oh, don't, don't, Miko, don't move any farther. Don't move any farther. All right. Stealth check. Ooh, uh-oh. No, no, it's just, it's just, it just looks cool, right? You can actually even, even after you roll a die, you can grab it with your mouse and flick it around. Uh, um, so, so Miko, yeah, um, where's Miko at? Uh, there you go. So Miko, so, um, you know, you guys are sort of like doing pretty well and you get to that last hit and you, and you kick a rock. And, um, and it, it, it just sort of like, you see it sort of roll about 10 feet down. And now I'm going to see if anything heard you because you failed your stealth check. So I'm going to roll a D I'm going to roll a, I'm going to roll a D 20 and, um, above 10, they, they heard you below 10. They did not. Yeah. So you, you're, you, so you guys, you guys all stop, right. And like holding your breath because, you know, Miko messed up, man. Um, and uh, all good. Nothing. Nothing seems to have been alerted by you. Yep, fifteen feet. And if, yep. Do it. Oh, you, 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 so you've now just been like, you're the, the, uh, you're now a scout. Yeah. Right. No, right, right, right over here. So I just pinged the map. And if you want to ping the map, you hold your mouse that you click someplace and just hold your mouse down for a second and it'll ping the map. Yep. So let me, um, who's, uh, did you already move? Okay, so everyone get to the where you're going to be. Those are two stealths right there. I'm going to roll those for you. And stealth. See, this is easy, right? This isn't hard. All right. Oh, shit. <laughs> Again, you know, again, Miko, you know, he moved forward and like his gods are not smiling upon him because he kicked the same fucking rock as he kicked the first time and just shot it down. So let's find out what happens. So let's see if uh, let's see if anything has heard you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so you. So you've been spotted, as a matter of fact, off off to just on that ridge to the um, uh, to the east, sort of now kind of the sort of the northeast. It's up the up the hill a bit. Uh, you hear you hear footfit, foot, footsteps scurrying and they're scurrying away from you, away from you. Oh, wait, hold on now. So hold on now. Yeah, now that gives us an opportunity. So you just asked a question that was really awesome. And it's called an insight check. So you want high. Yeah. Yep. Yep. All right. The high roll is muck. So muck, um, you know, so muck. You know, you're like, you're like, you hold your, you hold your hand up and you're like, everyone stop, 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 stop. Um, you know, hushed voice. You're like those, you know, those are the, the fast footsteps of someone who's not afraid, but it sounds like of someone who's going to like, you know, alert.
Well, no, no. You you know you know that one knows they're here. You No, so if you can't see them, they can't see you. No. It, yeah, so at this point at this point stealth isn't going to matter. Your your goal should be kill <laughs> kill the thing that could alert everyone else about you. So no one move yet. I need it so so, so here's how it works. Um you're now almost in combat. As a matter of fact, um let's do this because I think I think we need to put combat rules in place. So give me one second. You are now all in combat. All right. I'm not going to start. You can now don't forget to open up that combat tracker. And, and don't bother rolling it. This is just this is just a little a little reminder that like, OK. You're in a fight with well, there's at least one thing and I added it. It's a little goblin, right? You um, um so. Now, you know, now I'll say, I'll say, OK, take, you know, take before before we get things get real. Um, you guys can move your next 30 feet so everybody can move their next 30 feet. And you don't have to move your 30 feet. You can move your 30 feet. Yeah. All right. I'm having you roll a nature check. And, uh, and here's here's what I'll I'll tell you. And this is just sort of practice, right? There you go, Xander. All right, so you've got so so even though you know even though Miko um, has alerted things, um, he and Xander are are sort of like it sounds like a, like this sounds like it sounds like a goblin. It's not super you know it's not super powerful. You guys could probably kick its ass pretty easily. Um, however, you know it's farther from you, so you're going to lose in a foot race, right? So barbarians. You know, whoever they're they're not going to catch up to this goblin in time to whack it. You need you know you need ranged weapons, right? Because basically, you want to shoot this thing as it's running away, right? So sort of strategically, right? So your goal, your goal, and again, I don't usually tell you this much, but your goal is probably to stop it from warning whatever horde is you know is ahead. So yeah, so. Right, so yeah, go ahead and do that. Now let all of you move your 30 feet. Okay. Uh-huh. Which which um, which character are you? Hewitt. Okay, hold on. I gotta find Hewitt on the screen. Where in the hell is Hewitt? Oh, there we there we go. Oh, you have cantrips. Um, oh yeah, you have. You should have. Hold on. One second. Yeah, who you 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 should have level one, two, and three spells. No, I don't see. I don't see that he has. He has witch bolt. Is the only thing I see.
Oh, it needs to be. Um, it needs to be. Well, it's a cantrip, so it's all. I I see them in your. Um, when I click your. Oh, hold on. You're looking at the action. Where are you looking at the actions tab? The action tray. Yeah, I see them under cantrip. Do you not see them under cantrip? Okay, hold on. Let me let me look at something. Settings. I don't know yet. Hold on. Let me look at action tray. Action path. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know why you're not seeing them. I see them on that tab. Do you see the, no, go ahead, go ahead. But you're not, uh, you don't, you're missing all of your second and third level spells. Yeah, I'm not sure. What, what, does anyone else? Yeah, so look at your character. If you go to Spellbook, and, and do you see them? Do you see them there? Yeah, so here's here's the thing for, you know, one of the things you could do when it's not your turn is is Google how many spells should you have? Or actually, hold on. Well, he doesn't have he doesn't have any of his spells, so he's not going to be super. Yeah, yeah, he has. Yeah. Yeah, he has one of of like 20 spells he should have. So hold on. Um. D and D beyond campaign. Hold on, I'm going into your character real quick. Uh, view campaign. Which one are you? Who it? Right. Um, I'm gonna edit, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add some spells for you, if that's okay. Um, so class ability description. Right, just give me two seconds, you guys, and I'll get through this. Oh, why don't you guys stretch? Oh, no, it's okay, guys. This is all learning. Again, you don't, all of this doesn't ever come up again after this. Right? So, um, next. And to be frank, even, you know, even this is a one shot. If it turns out that you guys want to play over a couple of sessions, right, then we can make something like that happen. Um, I'm just looking for his spells. It's under class, I think. Oh, spells, there it is. All right, spells. Prepared spells. Spell book. You currently have no known spells. All right. Okay, so you get four cantrips, right? So um, how about... Okay, so Firebolt. Mage Hand. Wow, you remember this, huh? Okay. And Minor Illusion. Learn. Okay, because um, I'm going to re-import your character in a second. Okay. Okay, and then what about um, what about first level? Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. So that's zero. Okay, now for first level, you get you get nine. You get nine. First, second, third. 
Christ, there's so many. Um, okay, so we have um, probably Chromatic Orb is one that, that most people get. Um, and let's see. Loading disk fog. Are you are you wanting to do damage? I assume. Thunder wave. I'll see if I can find some. I see thunder wave, which is pretty cool. Um, hold on. Learn. I see we have three known. Um, hold on. Dragon's Breath sounds fun. Um, levitate. Jesus, you have really cool stuff in here. Um. Third level. Yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to can everyone can everyone else check to see if they need any um there's thunder step. All right. Um There we go. Learn you want this one. Yeah, no, I'm I'm uh I'm getting there. I'm almost done with it. Um Oh my god. Maybe I might give you some bagpipes just for, you know. There we go. All right, I think so I've got I got 9 10 or so spells for you. Um next 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 all right, now. And this is who it. Let me open you up. All right, so your, your character is going to refresh in a second. So start import. All right. And... Uh, default. Now look at your spells. Um, if you op just open up your character sheet, it should be there. All right, so I just I just automatically just uh, I prepared some for you. Now, if you go look at your stuff, you probably have to close the action tray, then open it back up. Maybe. Um, let me look again for you. Yeah, I'm not seeing your cantrip. Oh, no, wait, there they are. So it's under under spell. In that sec oh, you're looking. Okay, you're looking at. Um, 
So that's removed. Okay, so if I go to spells, hold on. Okay, so I I gotta remove some of these because I there's some of them are in twice. Toll, toll the dead. You know what's funny is I see it on the left tray. And I don't know why you don't. Now you can, by the way, you can do the same thing from your character sheet, right? So if you move over, don't roll anything right now, but like you can also move over the little icon, it'll turn into a dice. Typically people roll from their character sheet. That's the most common way that people do it. Yeah. So um Yep, 100%. Uh, uh, yeah, and then, you know, refreshing might show up in the action tray, but, like, you know, you do you. But, um, Miko, you know, you stepped around the corner, and um, and you absolutely see the goblin sort of heading up the hill, sort of around around some of those boulders. Who else sees him? Um, um, who, it, who it sees? Um, Hernan, you can see... You can see through the trees. Um, Xander, you so actually everyone can see. Wait, who am I missing? There's only finally see four of you. Where's the other person? Oh, you're in the tree. Oh, you're right there. Yeah, Muck's right there. Um, okay, so so here's what happens now. So like you guys are positioned, right? And um, I need you all to roll for initiative. You could. I had a I had a party charm a goblin and it was like became their like best friend. We're waiting for uh, Miko and Xander to roll. Now, just just so for some perspective on D and D versus like Baldur's Gate or you know Cyberpunk or whatever else you guys are playing. Um, We've been playing for 40 minutes and you guys have moved about 100 feet. <laughs> so it's fine now, right? Like this is this is it's easy. Yeah, the, the yeah, the right click. There we go. I'm going to hit begin combat. And by the way, just in the chat window, you'll see whose turn it is. Um, a little information, that little green bar is your health as a reminder. Um, and for those who probably don't care, I coded all of that. That's uh, that's my coding skill. <laughs> so. All right. Um, yeah, if, you, if anyone really likes this game, um, you, you, you can like you can create mods like nonstop. So that was one of my many mods. OK. Awesome. So so you hit you're up. Yep. Yeah. A hundred percent. OK, so in the le on the left hand side of this bar, that bar, um, make sure the person is selected and there's a little ruler. Yes. Yeah, you measure. Yeah. Now, now before before you continue, now when you're done measuring, be sure you check the square, because nine nine times out of ten, when it's your turn and you're like, I can't move, it's because that's not that's not the yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. 
No. Oh, no, no. Don't, don't end your turn. Don't end your turn. Okay. So other things that you can do, right? So, um, you know, you can still move someplace else. Um, you can say, I, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to attack. I want to ready myself. As a matter of fact, I, I need to give you guys, I'll give you guys the ready spells. Right, so hold on. Actions. Oh, hold on, no, don't enter. I Oh, I got to remove um reckless leap. Hold on. Um, delete. Yes. All right. So I added some more stuff to your, um, to your character. It should show up under features. Those are some things that if you're not attacking that you can do, right? Like you can shove someone, you can say ready. So like, I'm going to ready myself. So if anyone else comes out, I attack them. And what that means is even if it's not your turn, if something walks into range, you get to attack it. Um, 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 well, it's only I'm I'm going to add it to each person on their turn because um because I got a it's manual I have to drag them in so um uh, so you'll all get it on on your turn so if this so like on this turn if you want to be if you want to like move someplace else like and get in out of the you know out of the way um and then say okay I'm going to ready myself then that's what you do you 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 target yourself and then you hit ready. Yeah, and then you click ready. All right, now you can end your turn. Now, here's the thing. Um, the goblin's not going to stick around and wait for you guys to kill it. Right? So, so it's... Yeah, so it's going to go around 20 feet. And it's ten feet, so now that's that's its turn, and I'm and and he might he might have dashed normally, but he doesn't feel like you guys are a threat. So, all right, so Muck, you have all of your movement, and um, and you can and make your. Thank you. Of course. All right. Yep. 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 You should do that. All right. Now he's going to do a save to see if he's charmed. So I'm going to click the dice. Normal. And he rolls a four. So he failed. So he is now. So he's now. Yeah. So that goblin right now. Um, is 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 charmed. So he he stops and he looks and he's like. Hey, hey boss. What's up? What do you need?
Yeah, it was. You guys were you guys were coming through, so we were going to attack you guys when you went through the path. That's what we do. Oh. Well, there's me. There's 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 a guy up here on the ridge. His name is uh his name is is um is Ogre Bolt Launcher. He doesn't have a name. I don't know his name, but he's an ogre and he shoots stuff. On the other side of the thing, we have there's another goblin. We have another bolt launchers. We like to launch bolts from way up high. It's one of the things that we do. Um, my favorite guy is you know down down towards the down towards the uh, the path down there. There's a guy that we just call Battering Ram. Like his job is just to push you into the ravine. It's pretty funny. I love when he pushes people in the ravine. Yeah, but there's another ogre. So there's probably six of us. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, he's not. He's not one of you, but he is now like one of your party, kind of. Right now, he won't. He won't do things like he won't harm himself, right? Um, because that would be out of out of sort of character. But, but he will. You know, he'll answer your questions. He'll, he'll sort of do do what you ask of him. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. So, so they remain they remain charmed, um, for one hour. what you're going for here but uh you know they're gonna want like they're not gonna listen to me i'm just a scout but you know um if on the other trail so down you, you know down in the south you know are you guys gonna hide i you know they're gonna kill you yeah it's one trail that, that's that's Oh, you, you guys are my, you guys are my buddies. I don't want you to all die. You will all die. These guys are, these, these are ogres. These are very big gentlemen. My name? You can call me Slappy Joe. Oh, the battering ram, yeah. He's an, they're all ogres. There's only a two there's only two of us goblins. We're just lowly scouts. You can't push these guys, there's no way. Do you want me to introduce you? One of the ogres is right over here. Yeah, 
they don't, they, we don't want to kill you. We want all your money. And, and then we will kill you. You're not. So you want me to bring them up, up, you want me to bring them up here? Or where, or... Can you, can, can you ping the map by holding your mouse down? <laughs> oh yeah, then they'll easily be able to kill you, that'd be great. I'm, so, I, I'm sorry, what, which way? Oh goodness, that's where we all are. We are on each side. Yeah. Yeah, we're on, e we're on each side. Up where? All right, so here's where here here's where I will give you uns, I'm, I'm going to give you some unsolicited advice to to move you forward just a little bit. So, this is by the way, um all of your strategy, your your thinking is super solid. Um and here's because you don't play this often um or ever. Um here's some things to consider, right? Like you know that you could you could beat you could probably beat them one at a time. Right? Or maybe even two at a time. Um if you if you bring all of them together, it's you know, they're they're twice as big as you or more right um and you know their goal is to rob you and then dispose of your bodies in the ravine that's what they do um so you're really you have three options if you think strategically right you can sneak past them but that jig is up right um unless you know you just all attack the charmed person and and kill them um in which case then you still have to somehow make it through this this path which means if you rock if you walk the road you're probably going to die if you find alternate path, maybe you'll be okay. So that's option one is like is sort of stay the course, walk through, figure it out. The other is you you suss them out and kill them one at a time. Um, the other was actually you guys had a pretty good idea, which is if you can get him to round them up by saying something like, oh, there's a, a merchant loaded with gold, you know, to, you know, down the, you know, from the trail that you guys came from. So you want them on the other side of you, right? Then that, yeah, that might get and like maybe not all of them, but at least some of them. So like I'm, I'll ping. So if you, if you get them heading this way. Right. And you guys are hid over here. Right. Once they get that way, you can go past them. Right. And then you, you only have to take on whatever stragglers are left. Right. And, and I and I will probably never give you that kind of strategic thinking again, but but just just to help you guys think around like, okay, you know, there are many ways. And that's the reason I put you guys on this map first, right? Um, is there's many ways to skin this cat. My, my interests are your interests. You are my friends. Which ridge are you hiding on? Oh, oh, in that, in that, in that thick of trees? Okay, I, well, because I don't want to bring them by you guys accidentally, and then you guys kill me. That would not be good. No, that would be stupid. <coughs> the, 
that. We, um, you know, we do this all the time, and we can communicate with each other pretty easily through visuals and, and, and different sounds. If you want, I can, I can call them, uh, I can call them over here. Well, I couldn't, I couldn't call all of them. There's more across, there's more on the other, you know, at the bridge, right? Okay. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, you know, they, they bleed. So, so, they don't, you know, they aren't wearing armor, so their armor class is only about a 13, so that means that, that all you'd have to roll is a 13 or higher to hit them, right? No, unlike me, they're very stupid. You said it, not me. They aren't very, they aren't very smart, they only have intelligence of about 5. But they have a strength of 19, just so you know. Well, no, no, no. They're not very bright, but their charisma is okay. Their charisma is anywhere from 7 to 10. So you'd have to, you, you trick their charisma, not their intelligence. Yeah. You you don't you don't need an illusion. I can just you know. Although, if, can you make it look? Can you make it look like a broken down cart with full of gold? See, I, I'm I'm your best friend. <laughs> My name is not Sloppy Joe. I'm Slappy Joe. <laughs> Do you have to maintain the do you have to maintain? Do you have to concentrate?
Ajá. Uh -oh. You have a ruler. I, I have that? the cast spell, that's why I can't pull out the ruler. And cancel it and not lose it. Oh, it's a cantrip. Oh, yeah. You're right, fine. Right, yeah. right, you're, yeah. you're, you're, it's a cantrip, so you're fine. Cancel it and then move. Let's see. Ruler. We only have uh, 40 minutes left on the goblin. That's 45, so. 40, 40 minutes left on oh, the goblin. Oh, this right, is, it's, it's, right it's, it's, game, it's game time, you guys. It's not um, uh, oh. real world time. <laughs> yeah. How much time do you got? <laughs> and I just realized that um, when you guys watch this recording, up until this moment, you will not hear yourselves talk because I did not enable it. Oh, so. no. oh, that's fine. All right, this is about 30 feet right here, so I can cast it right there. Perfect. All right, now we can run away. So, All right, um, how do we cancel the combat? I what if I hide right, right, right here? Oh, no, so hold on. You're, you're, everybody else can move. I don't know why you can't move. Which one oh, are you? Do you have the thing so Oh, no, because I used all of my movement space. No, oh, but it should—it no. still should let you move, though. Try and try and try and do it. Do you have the box selected oh. on the top? Let me end. Yeah, you're right. Let me just end. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll end top. Wait, I come back. Oh, okay. Okay, there you go. All right, and now I'm gonna move. In the in the chat is... window, well, in the chat window, oh. make sure you add the experience points you got for this little strategic point of time. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what do we press? Just the add button. And you know, every time you play, you get more experience, and then you can up level your characters. Ooh, why is it? I'm not supposed to click it multiple times, just once, right? Just once. I don't think it'll let you click it multiple times. Yeah. Okay. And so we have uh, Miko and Miko and Xander have not clicked it yet. I haven't. Oh, there you go. I still haven't. Uh, Are you guys already hiding in the bush? Uh, no, I can't move right direction. now. No, we haven't. We're going. I actually, also cannot if they're going to be over here, yeah. Oh, now you can move. Here. All right, I can only go thirty feet, meaning I can hide in this bush. I can't hide over here because it's forty. So once so you said right here, no, we're that's way too close to it. We should be over here. I'm over here. All right, do I have misty step? I yeah, do thirty everyone, feet. Everyone, move over to where I am. I can't. I can. I can move in back into my tree. I still over, need to move. Here. Don't, go, don't go back up that way. Come back towards us. I, yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I oh, want to try and move over here, but I can only move up to here. Because are we able to move left. twice before? The... I can't see you yeah, you're out, you're out of combat. So just go ahead and move where you guys want to be. Oh. And where do you want the, the goblin to? He's gonna go get the people, right? Yeah. Oh, we so are we still limiting time. ourselves to the thirty feet? No, I'm letting you guys move wherever you need to be. Oh, okay. That's how. It, okay. I mean, yeah, you you are out of combat. You can move where you want. All right, I'm gonna hide. Oh, here. Right, right, here. Right. are we going? Okay. Yeah. The Are we hiding over by right. me? The right more? Okay. And the red is the illusion, right? Yeah, yep. the red is the illusion. So. so I'm going to ask you strategically when they're all gathered around right here. Yeah, I thought I was limiting myself with the steps earlier. Is it a way to cancel the, the illusion? Yeah. I can also move it if you want it moved someplace. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that'll work. Like up here? Yeah. <laughs> so that we can run. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're going to stealth here. Behind the trees and stuff while they walk by. Okay, so next question: yeah. Are we gonna go upwards or to the right? We're this heading, the we're right. heading this way. We're, we're heading yeah, east. this way. Yeah. We're heading to the right. Okay. There's nothing at the top. It's just a way for them to jump. Everyone's yeah, in the trees. Everyone's in the trees. Okay, yeah. good. So we're ready okay, for so yeah, him. Now... We're ready for him to grab his friends when he's ready. Goblin All right. Goes grab his friends. So the goblin. So the the ask is the goblin is going to somehow gather as many people as they can up there or at, at, you know, towards the illusion, right? Right. Yeah. And we're, we're stealthed. We're hiding in the trees, waiting for them to pass. And once they pass, we're stealthing, walking half speed or whatever, as, uh, as far as we can that way without them seeing us. Yeah. Okay, so... This is a very dangerous idea. This is a very dangerous idea. Well, I did say to burn the forest, but no one... No. Listened. <laughs> towards the force. I have, have to roll. Do I have to use stealth rolls for this or no? All right. So let me put the let me put the illusion there. So there's this big pile of gold now. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's uh, cool. And oops. Hold on. I didn't. I drug it wrong. Hold on one second. 
needs to be big pile of gold. That's not because who's going to go after that? So give me one second. Um, they're orcs, and they're not that smart, right? <laughs> they're not. So there's going to be this big. Well, they're going to. You know, it is going to be interesting because it's going to confuse them why there's a big pile of gold. Um, let's have to find it again. Yeah, for them to understand it's an illusion, they're going to. They're not very smart, so they're going to take them a bit. Until yeah. they actually it. There we go. A big pile of gold. This is a nice big pile of gold. Nice. There. There's a big yeah, pile of gold. Too. All right. And um, so the idea is he's going to, you, you know, use whatever mechanisms they have to, to say, hey, there's this giant pile of gold for some reason at the at the end of this path. Yep. Right. And. Um, do you, is he reporting back to you? Uh, no, no, he's going to go with no, them. He's going to go with them okay. for the pile. He's going to say, oh, what is this here? You know, that kind of thing. He's not All right. Wait, wait. Try to keep him no, wary about it. Really not to necessarily to touch it because, you know, oh, yeah. it's tell, yeah, we'll tell him, Try not to let them touch it because he thinks it's trapped. That All right. Orcs have a really good sense of smell. Um, um, I, I don't think so. No, I think they're just yeah. normal. Um, all right, okay. so you guys ready to do this? I, I thought they were ready. going to smell us. <laughs> not really. They, Go oh, for it. Fuck, wait, they might be able to smell us, dog. Wait, no, we uh, shower. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you're hygiene. Surely we'll be fine. <laughs> all right. So, here we are. Um, so, you know, you see your little goblin friend sort of run down the road. Uh, right. And he gets to about here and he's like waving his arms around. He's like looking really excited. And you hear him, you know, saying like, you know, gold, treasure, treasure. And he runs a little farther. And he's sort of out of your sight. Um, but you hear him say right. gold, you know, treasure. No, seriously, come on. No, you've got to you've got to come. You've got to come. And then he starts running back. Right. OK. And, and he gets to about here all right and you start to see some ogres coming by so the first thing you see is oh, the, <laughs> big. this guy yeah, coming big. this guy coming through Yo, i'm too old for this right um coming down this little path here you see this guy this oh, red wow. guy oh, no. oh he's red coming down um and a little scout person comes with him I, I, I whispered to the rest of the group, let's let's go up and around the way the red guy came. So and then this doesn't that not lead to an exit. And this guy it goes, it goes starts coming around, coming it? down this hill. Okay. And you guys are like nice and up in the trees. Right? Um yep. and he, you know, your little goblin guy is not dumb, so he's he's right here. And this guy comes here. Oh gosh! <laughs> this guy comes quiet. here. No one say a thing. Wait for them to be like next to the goal before we start moving. Got another little goblin there. Got this goblin here. Oh god! It's, so much <laughs> it's okay. If anything, you can charm the ogre. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm making sure. See, okay. Um, and he's like, um, so guys, it's it's. It's, it's right up it's right up this trail. I don't know what's going on, but like there's this giant pile of gold. It's really weird. Maybe it's a trap. I don't know if we should get too close to it. But um it, it's here. Where 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 is the other three? Where are the other three ogres? Oh, no. They've stayed behind. They're they're, they're, they're at the bridge. bridge. Doesn't, Doesn't make any sense, sense for all of us to come. come. You know, you know, there's, there's something here and we need them and we'll get them. them. Otherwise, they're, they're good, good to go. go. Okay. okay. I guess this is as good as I can get. All right, let's follow me. We'll go up to the thing. Oh, no. It's right around over here. Nothing to see anywhere else. It's just right here. You don't need to look okay. anywhere but we at me. Start moving stealthily. Right once. We gotta get and we go right there. here. One more movement for them. So, and then, okay, now so we're going. This is like, this looks like, yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty. I wouldn't get too close. This doesn't seem right. I don't know what's going on. What do you guys think? All right, so, so they're. You know, there's sort of their attentions there. Um, okay. You're in move your, you know, move your normal distance. Um, feet, yeah. If you, tell me if you're going stealth or not, or if you're just going to run like hell. But no, you do still, know that you do know that there's oh. three. There's three more people. Three more, there, yeah. Three more so ogres. Uh, ridge, no? Yeah, stay along the ridge. Stealth it. We're gonna go. We're gonna keep going uh, right. up and around. 
because because uh, you're right. We can't go up the ridge because um, we're gonna they, get spotted. They come, they come straight back up to us. So let's keep going, and we're gonna head stealthily, normally this way. Right. But thinking about it, like there, if we're gonna run into the other ones at the bridge, anyways, like well, that's that's we're gonna get we're gonna get sandwiched. That's the problem. Yeah. All right, so we all moved our 30 feet. Yeah. All right, move your next 30. All right. Nothing so far. You're feeling pretty good. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> and I think you guys can safely move to about here. Okay. I mean, you, you can go. There's more, I'm just saying, but you can fast track it to there because there's really nothing. He's cleared out this entire area for you. Okay, we're allowed to fast track. Oh. oh. Fast track. This is you can being fast, on the tree. Yeah, fast travel to here. Right here. Everyone fast travel around to here. But no farther. All yep. right. There you go. All right. So, you know, as a reminder, don't forget you should do once in a while, you should do a perception check to see if there's any if you perceive anything. Oh, that's um, true. Yeah, it's it, it's new. You'll get the hang of it. Um but now around the corner for the guys. Yeah, go ahead and uh, you want you guys want to do a quick perception Here. check? Let, let, let me do yeah. it. Let me do it. Oh gosh, okay. Well we all get to do it. Yeah, you all can do it. Oh, oh okay. Perception. Uh... Oh, there it is. Okay. Everyone see if they see the gas. All right, let's see. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did I really get a... Oh, oh nice. Dial! Damn, I'm throwing a roll to one. Uh, 22. Gosh. Wow. All right, Hernan. Um, so... Hernan, you um, you know, you have the high roll. Um, you don't and, and muck, um, the two of you guys, you don't sense anything okay. at this point. Okay. Right? Um it's it's uh, it feels like you're probably safe to go to about here. Okay. okay. And that's about where your perception is. If you guys want to fast travel to there, go for it. Okay, let's fast travel there. Right, right here. Yeah, yep. right here. All right. Now what do you want to do? Uh, can we do perception one again? Yeah, you can now. <laughs> you can do another perception check. All right. Yeah. Hold on one second. We got We gotta keep an eye out for these guys and see where they are coming. Okay. From. As soon as uh, we see something, we're just gonna hide on the tree next to us. I think. I think we gotta find something eventually. Just. To uh, get all right. Oh my god! 20. Oh my god. I got so a twenty-two. I no. What is, what is the ability modifier? Like, um, because of some of the things that you're of, that you've chosen, like your race or whatever else, um, you get extra points. You're just like smarter or whatever. All right. So, um, Xander and Muck, um, and um, who it? Like, you are a hundred percent sure that there is something hiding in this little alcove right here. Oh, you hear oh, it. Okay. You. It sounds very big. Um, it's oh, it's, it's 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 breathing almost like a bear. Um, your insight, your passive insight tells you that it's probably the battering ram. Like, you know, mm -hmm. sort of ha hanging tight. Um, but that's it. You don't perceive anything else. No other trolls, at least in this area. So, so you know. Keep minor illusion up. We are going to... Oh, reminder, uh, Gilbert. If you mm -hmm. cast another concentration spell, that illusion that's keeping them over there will go away. So it read, read whatever spells you use. I used minor illusion, but how, where oh, does it, it say whether it's oh, cantrip? Was it a cantrip? Sorry. Yeah, it was a cantrip. Oh, okay, so it's fine. Never mind. Never, disregard what I said. Yeah, it's okay, fine. So it's, it's it's for an hour. It's, it's just going to do its thing for an hour. Yeah. Okay. okay. So can I do another can, oh, uh, right. like minor illusion while the other minor illusion still up? Um, how many is it? A cantrip? Yeah, it's a cantrip. I think you only then, do one. I think you can do one at a time. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's keep that guy over there. Let's keep him over right, there. Then. Um, um, I have yeah, this exactly. level three hypnotic pattern. And, and every once in a while, you guys, I'm going to roll a 20 to see if they've realized it's an illusion. Just so okay. Beagle, Beagle, I have a level three spell called hypnotic pattern where I can basically incapacitate a creature for a turn. Okay, so here's, here's our play. We, we do that. We get him incapacitated once you see him. Everyone gang up on him at once. Everyone hitting him while he is unconscious will surely do tons of damage. No, if if he gets attacked, he'll be the spell will end. Oh, will he sit there and chill? 
Yeah, like creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. Okay, so one turn. Uh, it says if he fails the, where is it? Just, just so we know if, if we they, can get past if him. If they fail the wisdom time. saving, they'll be charmed for the duration. Can you see the duration? Can we roll a check to um, see his walking speed? Um, no, but you can you can do a nature check to, to know if you know that. So okay. let's do that. I'll do a group roll again. So you guys have already gotten the hang of it. You guys, you're asking all the right questions. Yeah. All right. I bet, he's a, I bet he's a bit slow, but we'll we'll see. Oh, nice. So the good news is, who it's with you guys, because the rest of you don't know shit. Um, <laughs> so, so who it, you hear? Minus one. You hear Xander say, "Like, you know, yeah, you know, I bet they're slow." And you're like, mm-hmm. "Dude, are you on crack? Like, <laughs> these things take. You know, their one footstep is like ten of our feet. You know, footsteps. Oh, whoa. Right? Like, oh, wow. you know, I'm pretty sure ogres can move about forty feet a turn." And I don't know about oh, you, no, but no, that's no. that's ten more than me, so I can't outrun an ogre. Yeah. Okay. So we gotta we gotta get the drop on this guy because either because if anyone has or we can just use a hypnotic pattern. Time, yeah. Do you think you're how oh, how long the hypnotic pattern last? But that's if it works. Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's concentration. concentration. It's concentration. No, that's so fine. Not stay there. Think. No, you're fine. Yeah, that's like, fine. So if, it, if it's concentration, then why don't we just put her to sleep and just walk away? Yeah. Yeah, concentrate it for okay. as long as we can. We'll get as far as we can. Ooh. All right, do you Wait, see? Right, let's go, let's do go, you go, need go, to go see fast, him? Fast, fast, fast. Fast. Yeah. Um, so then, what that. if we move over here right. a little bit before him? I also have a mage hand. I can find the rock that's on the ground and throw oh, it over, out, here over here, so yeah. that you can use your spell. Oh, I can use one of my cantrips. I have a cantrip. Uh. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I can. It's a minor magic trick that I can make something like pop near the edge. Like I can make something like pop up here. Yeah, he could be distracted by it. Go towards it, and then mage hand, mage hand him off the thing. Mage hand or that. Well, mage hand, mage hand can only carry like something like a. It says open a door, get an item from an open container, or like can I carry more than up to ten pounds? Okay. Okay. In that case, yeah. Uh, and I, I can't attack Owen? with it. Do your cantrip, Owen, and draw him out, and then use your minor, uh, use yes. your uh, hypnotic pattern. If it fails, we'll have to go into it. Uh, well, let's try. Should I move into the front? Closer. Yeah, you should move to the front. Because right, if yeah. it fails, yeah. we're in combat. Move. Yeah, move your just move your normal your normal distance. That's forty. And go go so towards. Uh, move no distance. Sorry. Thirty yeah. feet. Go I'm gonna stay towards the back. Go towards here. Yeah. Okay. And, and and if you make noise, he might hear you guys. Just so you know. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Stealth, sorry. That's stealth, true. Stealth, stealth. Let me first see. That's where my I'm normal going. distance right here. I'm gonna stay back. I'm, I'm gonna stealth all the way. Try and get around here. Okay. I'm try and draw him out. I'm, I'm stealthing up to here. <laughs> okay, we can do that. Okay. So move, then stealth. Yep. Then I'll. Oh. Is it Muck that's doing that? Yes, yeah. Yeah. the one who is uh, drawing him out for the hypnotic uh, pattern. All right, and you, you're doing stealth. So I'll give you this. will be one roll for all the way to where you're going. Okay. Okay. And he's on. He you know he knows that he he's on edge, right? Because he's his job's to wait for stuff. So we're gonna raise the DC just a sl- little bit to allow for that. So just beat an eight. Just beat an eight. I, higher than an eight, right? Yep, higher than yeah. an eight. I think I should be set no matter what. Yes. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm set no matter what. I have a plus eight on that. Yeah, so you can move you can move into position where you were, or wherever you were planning All to right. go. It was I think right like right where is it? Like right here, Beagle? Yeah. yeah around there. Anywhere you where you can actually get the uh the, the charm pass on him, yeah. Right. And then who's the right, one that so has the that, that magic? I have the hypnotic pattern as well. He's the one who's doing it. He, so, he's right? doing both the concentration and the cantrip that lets him draw him out. He's doing okay. both. No, I the hypnotic pattern, it's a 30-foot cube of just hypnotism, yeah, is what I think it says. Do, okay. Don't you have to drop it on him? No, it says range area, range slash area, 120 feet slash 30 feet. 
So I right. a range of 120, area of 30. So Muck, okay. just to give you a heads up while you guys yeah. are sort of, you, you know, as you get to that point in the tree, you can see a giant gray hand right about here. Oh, yeah. Uh, So is it not a pattern? Does it take up an area? It'll take up like from like here to here, and then so will everything. He, will he stop there? Oh, so then, then why don't you cast cast, cast right spell now? right now? Cast a spell right now. Yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. okay. So yeah, yeah I want to cast hypnotic power. Alright. And and is, so how does this work? The hypnotic is is it hypnotic hypnotic pattern? Is that what it is? Oh yeah, hyp hypnotic pattern. Sorry. Colors that weaves through the air, 30 foot cube, pattern appears for a moment and vanishes. Each creature in the area who sees the pattern must make a wisdom saving throw. They become charmed for the duration. Wow, so it's a charm spell. Um, okay. that spell. The creature is incapacitated. So it's, they're charmed and can't move. But it's any creature, which includes all of you. So, uh, yeah, that's, so that's, why, you, that's why I want to limit it to like right here. Yeah, so and you like may. His outclove to be completely gassed. All right. So, what are you? What are the rest of you doing while he's doing this? So, um, we're gonna be sneaking by, right? Let's move. Yeah, let's to move oh, yeah, I say, I say, sneak like over here, like. Or do we wait for him to activate it before we sneak? I think yeah. So you, you guys should like stack up over here. I'm gonna cast it, and then we sneak by as close to like this ridge over here? as we can. Got it. Everyone. Yeah, uh, yeah. Are we allowed like, to move? Go us like right here, or no, like right here, right here. Okay. Are we allowed to move? Yep, you're allowed to move. Okay. Uh, don't forget if you yeah, if, right? if, if if you can see him he can see you just so you know okay so, yeah, so I, I, I think i'm gonna sure stay here until you. after he activates it uh, yeah sure, uh should i roll for activation uh, hold no, on just I'm just, just i'm just this is my last either. gimme if if none of you tell me that you're closing your eyes you will all see this illusion and be okay. charmed uh, if we are it. closing our eyes okay uh, <laughs> let's go <laughs> i won't be telling you that again just so you know yeah you're gonna cast it okay go for it Tell us, oh, our eyes are closed. Tell us when uh, you Place measured template. Okay, so you move your mouse around where you want it. And your mouse and your mouse wheel rotates the template. And if it's not perfect, I can adjust it for you. Yeah, I want it like exactly like maybe that. I can't see what you're doing until you place there it. You. Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, oh, the tires, idiot. Oh. Okay, our eyes are closed, though. We didn't see this. You didn't see it. Now, he's going to roll to see if okay. it works. Okay. It was a wisdom throw, I think. Yep. Yeah, wisdom right. saving throw. Yeah. Ooh. He fails. He is now That's charmed so... and incapacitated. And you, so can, he's we a... move, can we move freely without waking him up? Well, we have to you, wait for him to say. So you guys can move freely, but do know that there is, you've heard there's two more Somewhere. Okay. Should we go into right. the cave uh, that is up ahead? Do you see a cave? That's why we were there, like home, bro. That that cave? You mean over here? That's where he is. Over here. Oh, like, ah, over here. Well, you, you, you just earned yourself some narrative, my friend. Oh, um, so cool. you and your fellow adventurers proceed down the path. The echoes of the distant waterfall are growing louder as you continue onward. Soon, the sight that greets you is a breathtaking. It's a stone bridge carved from the living rock of the mountains themselves spanning the yawning chasm before you. It stands resolute, an architectural marvel wrought by the hands of the unknown, bearing silent testament to the ingenuity of its builders. It arches over the fog-veiled river far below, disappearing into the sea of white that lends an ethereal quality to the scene. Now the river is fed by a waterfall, cascading down from the heights to the north, churns and roars in cease its ceaseless journey, sending a fine mist upward. The droplets catch light, creating a rainbow prism that dances in the mountain air. Or... The car's ride, if you will. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. So, yeah. Okay. So, and, and just beyond, I mean, what you guys see just beyond that bridge, you do see a cave, and it looks like there's some light coming from the cave. Okay. That's our destination. So, so that, that's pro that is most likely where the other orcs are. I'm just going to say it. Yeah. Yeah, probably. That would you make don't the think they're maybe waiting around this corner? Can we, roll, can we roll a perception check when you get to the cave? Well, first we'll do an insight check. Okay. Uh, what is, sorry. Fine. 
Damn, Xander, you've been on fire. So is Muck. Okay. Um, so yeah, your 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 pat your just your insight is, you know, you you read sort of the area. You've got that one little alcove, right? Which which holds that charmed orc, which I did not expect you guys to do. So that was bravo on that. Um, okay. And then um, yeah. there's no, you don't see any of their hiding spaces other than that cave. Okay, right. So it, has be, it has to be in there. Yeah. So sort of doing your doing the mental math. At yeah, this yeah. point, yeah, unless the others join, game. you can probably take on two trolls, right? Okay. Um, okay. But, um, to, yeah. Oh, if we need to, to stop the rest of the guys from following in behind us, we can think of a way, maybe, to take out the bridge. But in, just in case, we can make it to the trolls, probably kill them, or we can see what this way leads to. Because we just need to make it through this canyon, essentially. Just just passively, you don't have anything unless you have some pickaxes in a couple of months that you're going to take out this bridge. It's made oh, from okay, it's made mind. from the stone. Um, just okay. passively. I do want to remind Muck that he can move around, no problem. But if he gets hit, then it breaks the charm spell because oh, it's okay. a concentration. Is that what the concentration is? Okay. Yeah. I was scared. Like I was going to stay yeah. here until you guys were across oh, no. the bridge. Oh no! You can move. You can move. Um, don't get hurt. Yeah, let's, just don't just don't get hit. So can we start moving? Um, you yeah. move move uh, move twice your distance, so up to oh, sixty twice. feet. Oh, okay. Yeah, up up to sixty feet. feet. Yeah. All right. Okay, move once oh, and move twice. There you go. Move okay. to the end of the elf. Everyone. There you go. Do I move again or just the sixty feet? Uh, oh, if you one second. The end of the yellow. That's it. Oh, oh and you can move. The end, the end of the yellow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Can we keep going? <laughs> DM. Hey. Sorry, Sorry, guys. One second. I've got um. Uh, yeah, no this your your dad's here. Hassle me. So give me one second. <laughs> go go go! Run run run! <laughs> Why is that looking? So, uh, why can't we just... Wait, you already charmed him, right? The gob, the orc? You want to fight him straight on? Yeah. He's the bone breaker. No, oh, no, 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 leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. Once he takes an, a single, like, hit point, he will no it longer be charmed. takes it off. Right. And we don't fight him, be, like, though, one guy, but there are still the guys behind us. So the guys in front of us and behind us were still sandwiched. Yeah. With no escape. We are, we are kind of in a bad position, and we probably shouldn't be so close to the ridge. All right, I'm back. Sorry, guys. All right, so um, from where you're at right now, um, you can't muck. Um, Miko, actually, all of you, all of you can see there's two orcs in the cave. They're pretty big. Um, orcs or ogres? Sorry. I'm sorry, ogres. There's two ogres in the chain. Um, they look a little different. One looks a little bit more badass than the other. One looks like a normal ogre. The other looks like something. He's holding these big chains in his hand. Um, they haven't spotted you yet, but it'll be any second. Oh, shit. All right. Um, ooh, well, we still got to make our way across yeah. quickly so that we don't get stuck on this side of the bridge. Can they, can they see us if we're up here? Yes. They can they can see you right now. Like it's just I'm I'm rolling some dice here in the background to see when they see you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right, so um, we should just so should we just I, try to run across the bridge as fast as we can. We gotta get going. Yeah, we gotta wait, get going. I, 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 have an, wait, wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have the invisibility spell, level two spell. It's a creature you touch becomes invisible until the spell ends. So we'll do I have to be touching, down? <laughs> yeah, no. That's all I'm saying is, do I have to be like touching them with my hands, or can I just like poke one person with my foot, one person with my other foot? I think well, it's, like it's, it's, it's 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 one person. Yeah. Oh, like it's a oh, person, okay. Not everyone who's touching against it. Gets to the, yeah. yeah. I mean, you could send someone ahead, oh, yeah. but you know. And why am I, I not seeing? Where's Muck? I know. Where's uh, Miko? I'm not finding Miko. Is he under the tree? No, I'm. I'm the second one. I'm. Right oh wait, Miko. I'm, there's I'm, uh, I... there's two Pete. There's two characters right on this square. I think. Oh, you're over on top of each other. Am I? Oh, okay. Here, let me move. Can I, can I move like one space forward? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I was like, I thought I was missing someone. Like, <laughs> look, you, you guys, you do you. I don't judge if you guys are close. That's <laughs> um, 
So why don't you move? You can move the. So you can do whatever you want, but you can all move up to up to the maximum of your normal movement. So thirty feet, probably for most people. Okay, let's get going because we gotta get past these guys quickly. All right, and then when you do that, I'm gonna roll a die. Okay, so right now they're they're deep in conversation and they do not see you. Okay, and you can roll you can roll your you can roll your next move so you guys can make your next move. I'm trying to see how far okay. Keep going and, and to your benefit, the the sounds from the river, you know, is masking any of your uh, oh, sound very nice. movement. Yeah. All right, we, we moved. All right, did everyone move? Xander, did you move yeah, your phone? All right, so let me hit a D twenty and roll. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Honest. We're still across the bridge. So out you know, you hear ah right, like the and these two ogres come out. And okay, come. Boom. Oh, okay. oh and is this you? Is this stay at range? Yeah. Stay at range you, for as long you as you You should yeah. you should move like over here and stay yeah. away from the fight. I will, I will. Actually, roll, can I move now? We're about to roll and initiate. Nope. Uh, we're about to get. Yep, there oh, it is. We're in a fight. Okay. Get to it. Roll your yep. shit. Barbarians go up and make sure to rage. Man, you guys I are on top of this. <laughs> you guys have figured this, this game out pretty quickly, guys. <laughs> so. Okay. Get ready, boys. Here we go. Okay. All right. So we just need uh, Miko, Miko to roll his die. Do you see it, Josh? Yeah, I got it. Luckily, I have a good long range. Yeah, you, you're you staying back, once man. Once we uh, get to me. Most important is that, um, Muff, you stay farthest back because if you get yeah. hit in concentration, we might be done for. Unfortunately, yeah. he moves second to last. So we just got to pray he doesn't get hit. Yeah, I'm over. Oh, they so they so they're they're, 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 they're for, less than 40 away from us, so I can easily move to the back. All right, so what, once it's back. my turn... I'll get in the middle of us because I'm gonna cast bless on all of us. Do you okay. do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, bad good news. news. Well, the bad news is that ogre minion um is up first. Oh, oh no! So Let's see how close he gets. Yeah. So strategically, you know, because I like to, I like to coach new players. Um, you guys should have kept muck in the back. Yeah. But the ogre doesn't know you what you're doing, right? Um, he's a little confused because why the hell did the battering ram not do his job? Yeah. <laughs> so he moved his forty feet. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Miko, Miko, he targets you. Better oh, that you can hit that far, damn. <laughs> right. And uh, you Watch know, out. you see him. You see him pull a javelin up. Oh shit! Oh. Oh, I'm in line with that. I'm doomed. <laughs> oh. And he hits oh, you. Oh. oh. And he does seven points of damage. So, so it it sort of it sort of grazes. You see this javelin coming, sort of grazes your thigh, and just takes a chunk of 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 leg meat out. Um, Now I've got to see. Does he have? Does he have multi attack? Oh, he does not. So that ends his turn. Okay. I have a question. Um, Does the Uh, bridge break? Like. It's made Can of stone, it? so I don't think so. No, no, it's it's. Yeah. They've been doing this for years, right? Like this is yeah. like that. It was what you heard from the goblin. Uh, speaking of which, I need to roll something real quick to see if the illusion is still holding. Spells? Uh-oh. Oh, oh no, we're, we're no, you're still good. Oh, okay. I mean, I wouldn't say uh, Miko's good. He's hurt. <laughs> you're you're okay for now. I'll heal you if it gets real bad. I'm gonna cast bless on all of us, and you'll get some extra bonuses to your attacks and shit. Okay. All right, so Hernan, Hernan is you're up, man. What do you want to do? Or should I? Oh my God, my Wi-Fi is horrible right now. Yeah, that'd be a better idea. Okay. Yeah. So also, I'll tell you right now. Uh, one of the main things you can do with your class, Edward. Oh, you're muted right now. If you didn't know. Um. Uh, is rage. And you get to do a bunch of Hitler rage. So, another question: um, Like, if I use a spell, will it cause like damage to my friends or just the enemies if they're in the range of fire? If they're in the 
if they're in the range, like if it's an area of effect, then they absolutely get hurt. Okay. So you hit the ogre. Nice. Nice. You tickled it. It was a solid hit. Did it do no damage? Wait, where, where's it? Look, uh, I'm looking at the damage. Oh, wait, we can't, we can't know his health. Yeah, that wouldn't make any sense. Okay, cool. So you should have a card up that says roll damage. Oh, that's you. I can't hear your mic's on. Also, yeah, your mic's on. Oh, my bad. So, um... <clears throat> So I'm on damage roll. It says, do I do I go again? So it's critical hit or normal? It's a normal. Unless you got a 20, it's a normal. Oh, nice. Oh, there, there you, go. you go. Oh, there you go. Nice damage. Yeah, so you threw some blood, right? So like, um, All right. you hit that thing uh, pretty hard. A javelin for a javelin. Yes. And do you have multi-attack yeah, okay. or is that it? Or you're raging, um, right? You have a bunch of stuff you can do. Yeah, but how do I, how do you know if I have a uh, multi-attack? How, how can you check that? No, uh, it's be under your started. under your feature under your features. Features. Yeah, you uh, don't. No, reckless attack, rage, friendly attack, and relentless endurance. Just so you know, reckless gives you advantage on attacks, so you roll two dice and you get the bigger one. But yep, uh, people get to hit you with advantage, making you easier to hit. Yep. Hmm. Well, you have studied this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I think that's it, right? Because I don't have those turns. Well, hold on, you. Look, let me look at your features. So you're raging, right? Yep. So rage, 10 rounds, strength, blah, blah, blah. Um, are you doing frenzy? Probably not. Yeah. Oh, you no, are I'm doing frenzy? <laughs> no, so, so you don't want to do frenzy yet. Once you're in melee range, you want to do a frenzy because then you get a bonus attack. So you'll get another attack. Yeah. All right, then I'll just end my turn. Yep, end your turn. Okay. Hey, Xander. I'm going to get up to here. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get up to here. Uh, muck, muck, run! I'll say, and then I will cast oh, yeah. um, bless. Oh, sorry. Roll the dice. You must you must target a token before rolling the attack. So I assume I have to target the three people I want. Yep, and you can draw a box around them. I think and hit with oh, okay. while holding T. So let me get. Did I, did I get him? Nope. Uh, okay, here. Shift. Oh, no, it was T. Sorry. You and then just hold, and then hold in shift. If you hold shift down while you're hitting T, it'll um, let you do multiple. Uh, why is I? Or just don't hold shift down. Just hold T down and, and click. That moves. So now now try holding shift and doing it. Now or be or better yet, them. here's here's a toolbar way. So um, select select them like with the box. Okay, that's Hernan, Muck, and Miko. Okay, so yeah, and then in the select. toolbar, and then the toolbar on the left under the little lasso tool or whatever, there's going to be like a um, three concentric circles. Three concentric circles. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know why this isn't working. Oh, it says, it says, my well, mind says, I don't know what yours looks like. Does bless, can bless only affect one target? Because I thought it could no. affect multiple. Multiple. Yeah, okay. Well, first, who's, do you have, do you have the ogre targeted? I don't think I do. No. Over, over it, and then click. So can you, can, can, yeah, can you draw a box around them? Okay, drawing a box. And then it has all of them selected, right? It looks like it's only selected um, Hernan. Um, you, so, all right, and this is where I go to Google and I say Foundry, Foundry player, select multiple. Select multiple targets. Targets, yeah. Oh yeah, just look, hover over the character, click T, and then hover over the other one, hold shift, and click T. I thought hold I said shift, that. E. Oh my god, I was doing it wrong. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I did I say that. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not yeah. crazy, guys. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're not crazy. No, no, That's my yeah. bad. Now, um, now roll it. There you go. Okay, there you go. And then <laughs> bonus action. Uh, T. Well, they're all still Target. selected. Yeah. Target that guy. 
All right. Now, if, are you doing a ranged? Uh, I'm doing spiritual weapon. All right, because they're because you're going to hit your people between. You're going to need to take a couple steps again. Oh, to... forward. If I spiritual weapon. I could. Um... Or is it just? Is okay. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, okay. And what is your spiritual so... weapon going to be? I should have prepared that for you. Uh, giant sword. Okay. So hold on. Configure how you would be like to use uh, cast level two. Mm -hmm. Soon spell cast spell. Oh, whoa! What is this? There it is. I want it right here. And then can I attack with it? Yep. What's uh, something popped up on my screen called Companion Manager? What does it say? Blank. Um, I don't know what you're seeing. Um, can I oh. press X on? No, no, I think um, it's it's probably for you. Let me see. Let me pull you up and say companions. Maybe it can't spiritual weapon as companion. Okay, yeah. Hold on one second. I got. I'll create a, a spiritual weapon for you. Okay, cool. It'll Sorry, guys. I, I, I should have probably tested this before. <laughs> Elegant A companions. Items. Hold on. <clears throat> Import entry. And I'm almost got it. Duplicate. No Thank you for <laughs> dealing with me. No, it's all good. Um, Delete. And I open it up. And I type in your name. Xander's spiritual weapon. Nice. Okay, All back. Right. <laughs> All right, there's I that. And I put in your companion manager. Could I X out the campaign manager? Because it's still up. Yeah, give me, yeah, one second. <clears throat> I have a question. Can Xander accidentally heal the ogre? Like the yeah. enemy? Yeah, yep. I find you can target it right, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. That's, uh, I have to rename it. And then we should be good. <laughs> Dang. What the I didn't even roll anything. <laughs> is, is, that my computer. is that happening again? It happened once. We'll see if it yeah. happens again. I forgot that was happening earlier. All right, so there's your <laughs> spiritual weapon. Wait. Uh, a fumble? <laughs> what? Ten. No. You fumble the bag, bro. What can I say? Ten. Dude, I, fumbled, I twisted my goddamn ankle, bro. <laughs> there it is. No. There and it's owned by you. Configure ownership. And it would be this guy. Owner. Save. So, I don't know if this is for anyone else, but is anyone else's screen black? Nope. Mm, no. No. Mm -mm. no. <laughs> I'm scared to reload the page. Actually, I don't see you anymore. Yeah, Did I you? I don't see you anymore, yeah. Uh, something happened. Oh, you're oh, back. I'm back. Oh no, the ogre ate him. No, ogre ate me from across the hallway. All right, Xander. So there is your um, there is your spiritual weapon. It's that green thing. Oh, sick. Should I? Uh, how do I have it attack? Um, I think you select it. Got it. And then I. Oh, hold on. I got to add sword to it. One second. Uh, what kind of? It's just a long sword, right? Yeah, sure. And D and D Beyond. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> no worries. Item. Gosh. 
Longsword. L-O-N-G. Longsword. All right. If I put that in there. Edit. Hold on. Actions. Delete. All right. So now there should be, uh, and there should be, when you select it, there should be a, a long sword action. Cool. Am I right? Do I roll the dice to see if we can hit it? Yep. I'm pressing on the dice, but it is not doing anything. Let me let me try to see if it works, and then um, we'll go from there. Okay. If you can make it do it, that would be fine too. I don't, I don't, there's really matter to me. Oh, I'm sorry oh, to tell you one, that that okay. Well, it it did, but my friend, you are the first fumble of the game. So in that macro, that fumble table I put down there in your macro bar, your hot bar. It looks yeah. like a broken sword. I need you to click it. Oh no. Oh no. All right. So sorry, buddy. You suffer from a knee pop. Your knee hyper extends awkwardly. You have oh, yeah. one fourth movement speed and cannot and it cannot charge for one D4 plus six rounds. So roll a one D4. In your chat window, the little triangle, little pyramid. Click that once and then hit the roll button. Roll. Now just a quick question. Did I like pop my knee while my my spiritual weapon just swung just out of nowhere? That's yeah, you were you were so dazzled by your weapon dancing around this ogre that you you know stood awkwardly and popped your knee. All right, so 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 you rolled a four, which is the worst thing you could have rolled is the most. So for the next ten rounds, you you operate at one fourth movement. So your movement is thirty feet. So you can move all round up. You can move. You can move ten feet per round because you know it's, oh, it's in. Okay, guys, you gotta defend me. <laughs> yeah. So no, no, no one left behind, as they say. No one left behind after this. Yeah. What if we do leave them? <laughs> um, that, means, that means we're gonna be fighting no the ogres behind us now. Then I'm dead, and you have no healer. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> right, we have to take care of these guys quickly and fight the other ogres. All right. It's now the chain brute's turn. All right. Well, the chain brute probably has range. Ogre no, chain brute. He doesn't. Like... He doesn't. He's he's so annoyed that the other guy's in front of him. <laughs> Hit him with the razzle dazzle. Yeah. So, he, I'm trying to say thirty. I don't want to be in the front, but I don't want to be in the back. All right, so I'm gonna go right. Oh, shoot, thirty feet is my limit. Yeah. I don't want to hit nobody. Like Gosh. Okay, I think this will work. You could maybe be at like here ish. I don't know. It's because I have a, a range weapon, a lightning attack, a thunder, lightning. Oh, bolt. Right here. Go, go, go like, over here. Like, we're. Yeah, it's because I want to try to get both of them. That's why. Because it has a. Oh, it... then you'd have to go like over here. I'd here-ish. have to be here, but I can't go here. Yeah. Mm. You can push through your you can push through your friends, but it'll cost you five feet. Oh, uh, yeah. Either way, it's too far. 30 feet is right and here. You'd be right in front of them. Well, no, yeah. I'll, I'll just be right here then. Let's see. Yep, well, I guess I got to make do with what I got. So 30 feet, and then I have a lightning bolt here. So I'm gonna... Oh, I need to select you. You might be able to hit both of them. Oh, what the? Oh, I can aim right here. All right, let's see. There you go. Is that, you think that's hitting both right there? We can't see what you're uh, oh. aiming. <laughs> Sorry, I I think so. All right, do your thing. Nice. Uh, normal roll. Okay. All right. Happened? No, no. So, so you're gonna hit. So everyone who's in range. So, um, who it? You you were in line of fire. So go ahead and roll. I'm gonna roll for the two ogres. Oh, I thought I had to cast it on myself. No, no. I mean, you know what? I'm going to can't. That, I that was, was user error. <laughs> oh, okay, my bad. Yeah, let me. Saw, um, on the spell book, it said self, so I thought I had to click on me and then aim that way. Hold on. Let's just um, cancel that. 
Oh, is that yeah. you gotta heal. He already burnt himself. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll with advantage, and hopefully you just you succeed. Otherwise, I'll undo whatever it does. All right, so you're good. Oh okay. Oh. Wait, it says something. I, I sustained oh, wow, a lingering advantage. injury. No, the, you no, you didn't. Out? Oh, not you. Someone else did. So. Um, yeah, it says that, that, that I did. Like I got a pop up that said that uh, we, we, he, he sustained a lingering injury. Oh, I'll I'll like, heal you up because it was it was because you targeted yourself. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. So what's happened is you exploded the ogre minion. So like oh. that. Oh, you're too kind. So oh, as you my. as you cast it, like you see this lightning fly out and it hits this ogre and just. Like you guys are being showered with ogre parts, right? And they're <laughs> tinkling like rain around. Um, and it smells a bit like bacon, which is kind of nice. Um, so yeah, so one ogre's dead. The other is hurt really bad. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, it took lightning damage. So its nerves are numbed, right? So for the next four days, um, you know, he's going to, his, his speed's going to be down. Mm. Um, so you cannot take reactions for the next four days, it says. Um, unless someone heals him, you know, so oh. feel free. Um, <laughs> on the flip side, he looked shocked and, and annoyed, but then he kind of looked like, well, that's awesome. Now my path's not broken anymore. All right. So he can step through the corpse of his friend. Now from right. who it's, let me heal you back up. You had no damage, right? No, I had no damage. I didn't know that. Now I know. Do not click on yourself. <laughs> yeah. Do not click on yourself. Um, so lightning bolt. Italy. Okay, Mub, finish him off. We're struggling with two ogres. Imagine if we had the whole crew. Yeah, so your yeah. minor illusion in nine rounds um, will end, just so you know. That's basically when that, oh, okay. the, and the rest Ooh, of that party is going to come kick your butt. That's right. We got to get moving. Um, oh, is that my turn, do I end my turn? Yep. All right. Sorry. Okay. All right, Muck. So, well, Muck, you going to rush him? I'm going to move. <laughs> <No. laughs> I'm move right here. I'm gonna move right here. I'm not I'm, moving. Um, you okay? Look and see. Are you? Do you have measuring? Like, look in the left hand side. Is it the person and the box that's selected? Tell me why I had it on measuring. That, remember, I warned you guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move there, and then I am going to. What does that one do? True Strike. I want to cast True Strike. Okay. Um. Oh, never mind. I do not. Is that a random? Okay, so yeah, I'm not going to do that. No, it, it would end the concentration on the battery ram no. guy. Okay, yeah. Make sure it doesn't um, have about... next to it. <laughs> yeah. Longbow. I might... I might just longbow him. You are you are blessed, so you have an extra D four to your roll. Okay. It's not allowing me to actually do it. Try it. I'm clicking on the dice, and it's just not doing it. Uh, target longbow. Wait, target. And hover over it. Press T. Go to longbow. There we go. There we go. There we go. Figured it out. You got a muck. Uh, adv advantage or normal? Advantage normal. is highlighted. Mm. Um, advantage. Oh. Oh, I just picked normal. Uh, and you hit damage roll. No. Uh, yeah, it says damage roll. And which one's highlighted? Normal. Normal. Yep. So there you did nine more nine more points of damage. You see more blood splatter. Um, don't forget to untarget the dead person, whoever has them targeted. Oh, oh it's probably me. Is that me? Xander and... Uh... Oh, wait. Uh, and then end my turn? Yep. How do I untarget? Untarget. Click T. Hover over him and click T. Dang, you're getting close. <laughs> Are you going to go get him? Go get him, Josh. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run and I'm going to smack him. All right. <laughs> get him, Josh. And this oh, rage, rage, rage before you do it. Rage. Yeah. This is, this is where you die, puny person. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, no. 
Oh, Josh is doomed. He's getting thrown off the cliff. Uh oh. <laughs> Miko's getting Josh. chucked off the cliff. Oh, you gotta end your turn, I think. Wait, did he already move? He no, didn't he had to get chucked off it. All right, so Josh. you hit. Solid hit. Oh. Seven points of damage. Still alive. Oh. Just a little left. It's my turn. Yes. Hit him charge him. Charge him. Finish him. Charge him. Can you get to can you get to him within your movement? Uh, no. If you, if you can, then just shoot him with a longbow or a crossbow. Or or javelin or whatever you had. Okay. Um you yeah, don't want to you you don't want to shoot a crossbow through your friend. Oh crap. Yeah. Oh, and I can't move anymore, can I? Is that thirty um, how, feet? How much move did you movement did you make? Here, I'll, I think. Oh, you can move five feet. There you go. Oh. Okay, javelin it is. Even though I'm really close. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Good thing I blessed you guys. Why can't I use it? I'm right back in the Oh, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Let me let me help you out because it's you're between squares. There you go. Oh. Now you sh you should be able to use either melee right. or or range, whichever oh, you want to do. Melee. Look at him. Okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's a solid hit. Damn. So you you bring your great axe down upon his skull. And oh, nice. And it explodes. Oh. And he is dead. So let me make All sure. Right. Nice. All right. Xander, kill him. <laughs> so that kill ends him? the so that ends combat. Okay. We did it. And yeah, let me running. hold on. Let me turn him into me, one second. I got to turn him into a um, a loot box. Ooh. Ooh. There's that one and that one. All right. So let me turn him into it. Take out the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go back? No. All right. So there you go. All right, so they're both lootable now. Get them. You just double click on them to open up their stuff. Oh. oh I'm, going oh, I'm too far away. I can't oh, too, too far away right now. And I also gave you guys your experience points. They're in the oh. the thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Everyone uh, add your press the add button. Whoop. Now you're out of combat, but but not out of the woods, right? Yeah, yeah. We saw um, all the guys behind us, and ogre's still charmed. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what I needed. So you start to hear some yelling, and that the ogre that um you you charmed down the thing screaming, you know, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. Uh oh. Because that one in the the one in that chat window means, you know, they're going to be heading your way pretty soon. Oh no! Okay. Grab, grab, quick, and run. <laughs> All right, so no, we're going to the homie. We're going to the goblin. You guys yeah. can now, you guys can now move. Um, you can still loot. That doesn't count loot. against your time. So move next to the box, and you can double click it and get it stuff. I'm taking uh, hide. I, I have no use for it. I only took one, one thing. From that. I'm taking both of these. So. Somebody wants a great club. I, I have no use for oh, it. Oh yeah, does the barb want a uh, on great top. club on this guy? Which guy? On the top. Uh, the one I'm next to. If you look at my name. Oh no no no! Wait, great. Oh, Can I, I go back and grab one. it? Yeah. If you want it, I'm not taking it. I yeah, Josh, it. Josh, you take that. You take that. All right, do we? Can do we move and uh, it? like full sixty feet? Okay, keep going, guys. All right. Can we move again now? All right. So, go ahead and, and uh, do you guys want to search the cave? Yes. All right. Uh, so then, well, if it, if it's we, well, oh, sure, before you say yes, we don't know if it's only if there's only one entrance, and those guys are coming up behind us. Yeah. Hmm. We might as well get out of here. Yeah. Let's go around. Can we roll an inside check? Yep. You sure can. Let me light. Let me light you up. 
because there's either a chance good loot in there or they come right behind us and we're funneled and we're literally in a choke way or choke point. Yeah. Okay, but there's only three of them. We just beat up two of them. Oh, that's a like minimal four. damage. Three of them out there. Good. Normal. Oh, that's terrible. Damn. Oh, nice. Damn, oh, 16. Nice. Bam! Yes. All right. So Xander, Huit, and Muck. You're all like, look, we've done the mental math. There's no way those guys can get to us. We have plenty of time to search the cave. From where you stand, it doesn't look very deep. Um, okay. Your okay. your sort of mental math is also, wait a minute, well, these guys hoard treasure, right? So, like, that's probably where they keep it. So you may, you, you know, it's it's there might be something good. Or it could be empty. There couldn't. There might not be too much there. Right? I mean... So... So if you want, so if you want to, so if you want to move here and no worries. <laughs> All right, so you can, go. you can go here. Uh, okay. And then when you get there, oh, finally quiet. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> noise. Water was killing me. Oh, and you can adjust the levels of your sounds by clicking the little note icon in the upper right hand corner, and you can adjust all the levels. Oh, I wish I saw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um. So now in your hot bar, that little, I told you to put that little magnifying glass, right? Search. Yes. yes. Yeah. Each of you do oh, it one, okay. one, one time, one time each. All of us? So, yeah, each of you. Yeah. So Hernan, oh, you found right. nothing. That's a good one. Muck, oh, you oh, found damn. copper. You, there, you found a rod. Some leather armor. Did everyone go? Yeah. I, think so. I got a drum earlier. Awesome, and then and then you, and then like you guys see sort of sticking out of the rubble. I found a rod. Ooh. Um, you, you see something sticking out of the rubble. It's this. Whoa. Ooh. And and the berserker, you know, um, I'm not the berserker. The the barbarian's like, holy shit, that's a berserker oh. battle axe, right? Oh. So my, the question is, do you, who okay. wants it, if anyone? Arm wrestle. Uh, uh, can we roll a strength check to arm wrestle? Yeah. You can. Who wants to wrestle for it? Me. The two barbs. Okay, so uh, Her 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 Hernan and who else? Uh, Nico. Uh, uh, Nico or Miko, sorry. Nico. Everyone's staying quiet. I I earned it. Yay! No. Okay, so. No. All right, so you guys, you guys are going to arm wrestle? All right. Yeah, yeah. we're going to arm wrestle for it. All right. <laughs> the org is over there. Here you go. <laughs> Strength check. Look in the chat window. All right. uh, let's see. Normal. My yep, normal. Miko. Oh, wait. Why did one roll with advantage? Because I get an advantage on strength checks. Yeah. <laughs> he was still raging. Oh, he was still yeah. raging. Yeah, so Miko, Miko, um, Miko, like, Slams, you know, your arm down. My hand. <laughs> yeah, and you're not, you're not hurt. But um, so does does Miko get the battle axe? Yeah, you like it. I hurt. Yeah. It hurt me emotionally. <laughs> All right. So if you look at your inventory, you'll yeah. see you will see a berserker battle axe in your inventory. Equip it. Well, hold on. You might want to look at it first. Oh, there is a curse on it. <laughs> is it cursed? You're unwilling to part with the axe, keeping it within reach at all times. You have a disadvantage on attack rolls with weapons other than this one. Oh, no. Yes, what? I'm lucky. <laughs> well, I mean, hold on. So, so basically, it's a plus one weapon, Ooh. right? Um, on attack and damage, Magical? right? You have to attune to it, which means that you need to spend the night, you know, whispering sweet nothings to it. Mm -hmm. Um, it is cursed, but the curse is basically it's very jealous, right? So if you use any other weapon, you know it's that's when that that's when that um the saving throw comes in, right? You'll you'll do uh, you'll it will you'll it'll do basically mental damage to you, emotional oh, wow. damage to you <laughs> if you cheat on it with another weapon. Oh my god! <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm you can. Open it. Do it. <laughs> yeah, and you'd equip it. Now it's, it's just a normal battle axe until you attune to it. So, Wait, um, what, what does Arcana mean? Uh, magic. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's awesome. 
All right. Out of curiosity, where would um because I got like a rod or something in my investigation, would that have shown up in my inventory? Not you have to tell me if you want to pick it up. Uh, so I'll pick up the copper. Okay, so the copper. Okay, so I click on it to show I wanted to pick it up. No, no, you just tell me. So I have to I have to give it to you guys. It's manual. Oh, All right. Cool. Okay, so so first let's start with um who it. I didn't get anything. No, you did. Um, who it? You got a drum. Nice. Yeah. Uh, oh, can wait. That's, that's for, yeah. That's for yes, you, you can. Uh, how do I give yes! it? Yes! All right, so I'm going to take the drum and put it in your inventory. It'll show up in your inventory as a drum. There it is. Yippee. You got a drum now. All right, Muck, you got copper. So let me give you copper. <clears throat> If you look in your inventory, you should now have some a copper bar. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Um, Xander, you have a rod. Yeah, I want the magic rod. <laughs> well, I don't know if it said it was magic, but it's definitely a rod. <laughs> I think it said, oh, it's a spell casting focus. Oh, there actually, you go. It's not actually magic, but yeah. There, oh, so there's a rod. And I'll, then... I'll uh, Mi uh, Miko, you got leather it's a, armor. It's in a <laughs> yeah, can I have it? Yeah, do you have any armor on? No, I don't. So you could always equip it if it lets you. It'll increase your armor class. Ooh, I did. Nice. If it yeah, it's and, and. Oh my god, I had a steel mirror. There it is. Um, like a mirror, I could have held that thing like around a corner and seen someone. Yeah, you could have. Uh, <laughs> now we know. All right, so so um, that's it. Are you guys going to do anything else? Uh, can I request a trade <laughs> or whatever with uh, uh, it and give him a the rod, the spellcasting rod? Yeah, you, well, you, you, highlight, you highlight him and then you hit the trade button in the lower left-hand corner. Okay, let's see here. Is there highlight. any way we can scoop the blood of an ogre? I don't know if it's like a future... And then you, 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 you can. Um, I don't think it will mount anything. You'll just have a little vial of blood. If you want it, I can give it to you. Nice. Hmm. Take yeah. his head. <laughs> was that a yes or no? His head yeah. was split down the middle. Oh yeah, there's not enough. Uh, there's not enough of these guys left. It's just mostly, uh, you know, uh -huh. viscery. Did you send the trade request? Uh oh, I figured it out now. Finally. Oh. Oh shit. Drag and uh, drop. Okay. Drag items. Rod. There you go. Can I have some uh, gold? <laughs> you can have. Give me some. I don't care what it is, even if it's like a little toy. Get some food. <laughs> yes. Okay. He's got a little spell casting rod now. There you go. Okay. Um, I have some armor that I cannot use. What class is it? Does anyone want it? It's hide armor. A crude armor consists of thick furs and pelts, medium armor, 12 AC, and I'm not proficient. How can I tell if that would be better than my armor? I think Look at be better than my armor. Or that would be better for you guys, yeah. I think it'd I be better for, it'd probably be better for most armor. of us. Who doesn't have armor yet? Um wait, who, I don't who think had I the drum? Your armor, right? Oh, I, I had the drum, but I thought I Oh no, I have I have scale mail. I'm good. Whoever wants to take the leather armor, that's you guys' stuff. Wait, I'm sorry, who who wanted the drum? Uh me, Muck. Give it to Muck. He's the yeah, bard. What's your is it autistic? Autistic tree, autistic tree, yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. We should start heading. Uh, uh the I'm gonna. Yeah, you're at two hours and sixteen minutes of gameplay. I okay. Nice. <laughs> um, well, we'll take a break here in the middle, just for a few minutes, while I give my kids some food. But um, oh, yeah. just like just like ten minutes or something. But um, let's get That's you to the cool. next place first. Right. Um, also, you know, also at any point, if you guys are like, I'm good. No harm, no foul, right? If this isn't for you or or you're you're kind of done. So um, if you guys are ready to exit, just make your way and park yourselves right where I'm flashing to indicate okay. that you're ready to go to the next place.
And we're going to yeah. avoid, we're not going to do like the, normally there's travel, like it's like a three day travel, a trip from here oh, to right. the next place. And oh, you would have, you would have, um, if anyone wants to see it, I can show you what it would have looked like. Um, might as well. So you guys all moved over there. Yeah. And just yeah. as you, as you get to that point, um, um, around the corner, you see those ogres sort of running towards you and like, what the hell, man? And, um, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, can, I have an idea. Can I, can I undo the charm on the battering ram and have him ram the guys off? Just when he sees them. You can you can undo it, but he won't he won't ram them because he's not. Um, once Damn. you remove the charm, yeah. Wait, what's the distance from me to him right now? Let me see. That's like a while. That's. Oh, I can't see the numbers. So what if Gilbert makes an illusion of two ogres? Just that's a while. It's one hundred and thirty-five it... feet. So I can can I I kind of want to. Uh, mine says it's one hundred and sixty feet. From me. Oh, 135. You're right. Right. Um, can we? Can I blast it with something and then we run? <laughs> You're welcome to do so. Okay, I mean, I, I, I will say that they can run faster than you. And even though we're moving to the next scene, like I'll do some rolls to see if he catches up with you. Let's just get out of here. Let's just get out of here. Let's just leave. Full dash action, 60 feet, run. <laughs> okay, so you guys are moving on? Yeah. Yeah, we're for dashing. All right, so normally you would you guys would have seen um, this scene. Well, that's really cool. Um, is it? You'd probably Let's just see. seen black right now, but like, and you would and you, you would be in a, like a dirt road. Yeah, oh, you'd yeah, be. That's cool. Y- you would have been in a wagon, which is why you're hearing horses. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And oh. yeah, and it, yeah, and you could have said like, you know, make the horses go faster, and then it speeds up. Um, <laughs> And then we'd roll random things, right? It'd be like, oh, you, there's scorpions or whatever. So I wanted to give you guys a feel, yeah. right? Um, sometimes the trees go away, the, the terrain changes, right? There's some trees oh, now. That's really cool. I um, just want to let you know, when, um, yeah. I think my spiritual weapon should be gone by now. You mean like this? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Can I play my loot? You yes. can play your loot all you want. Yeah, if this were durable, when you play your loot, it would actually play music. But I don't. I don't know that I've. I, I don't know if I've wired the loot up yet. Um, but anyway, Wonderwall. So I'll give you some. Um, I'll give you some narrative to, to move this. Right. So your party bids farewell to the towering. Somewhat nice show, whatever. Okay. Well, wait. Uh, seven thirty. Oh, okay. It's time to press. Yeah. Well, that that one like his family showing up. When are you showing up? Like eight. I have a while. I have two hours. All right. Um, and whenever you guys have a hard stop, we can talk about that in a second. But like your your party bids farewell to the towering peaks of Great Peak Mountains. And then yeah, I have an hour. Oh, meet yourself. Oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure who you were talking to. Um, but anyway, your party bids farewell to the towering peaks of the Great I, Peak Mountains. Their jagged silhouettes become distant memories as you journey onward. The comforting greenery of the mountain woods and the verdant hues and cooling shadows gradually gives way to new, harsher landscape. The trees become sparse, their leaves wilted under the relentless sun, and the undergrowth thins out, replaced by rocky, unforgiving terrain. Soon, you find yourselves in the threshold of the Badlands. Um, over time, the trees disappear. And you're you're left with just dust and and whatever's. So there you go. Cool. So, you know, you guys you guys travel for a few days. We're not going to roll any encounters here, um, because that would really delay <laughs> the game a lot. It takes a while. Um, but over that period of time, it's worth noting that um, your effects wear off, so your bless goes away. Mm-hmm. So let me hit effects bless. Concentration is gone. Um, and give me one more second. Effects gone. And Hernan. And yes, you're going to take a long rest. And you'll get your spell slots back. Um, but I just need to clear your effects first. You're no longer raged and you're no longer blessed. 
All right. And that's it. Uh, I have one question about one of my class features. Is Song of Rest, is that only for short rests, or can I use that for long rests as well? I have not, I'm not sure what that is. What is uh, that? Me. Uh, it's You can use soothing music oration to help revitalize your wounded allies. Oh, nice. Um, they will, that would be, I think that's when, when you're doing a short rest, right? Um, okay. But right now, you're not going to need that, because we're going to do a long rest. So I'm going to hit rest, and it's okay. a long rest. And let me add your characters in. And did you guys get something that said long rest? Begin long rest. Is there yep. a pop-up? Where is it? Yeah, it's a pop-up. Yep. I didn't get it yet. I haven't gotten it yet either. It says select dice to roll. Uh, you, you don't need to do that. You can just um, hit no thanks or skip or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Oh, finish long rest. All right. Uh, so. Oh, I got my level three magic again. Like, yep. Yeah, it comes back. Try. It comes back with a long rest. Oh, it's a. Oh, never mind. Uh, where where would it be? Where did it pop up for you guys? It should have popped the up on the screen. Yeah. In the center of the screen. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. Because you never sleep. Let me, try, let me let me let me try again. Let me try again. Um, All right. Xander, we'll do one more long rest. Here we go. Oh, Dang, there you go. Fifteen hours. That's crazy. Long rest. <laughs> you got yeah, a really great night's sleep, you guys. <laughs> and when you're all done, let me know. I'm Everyone done. got it right. Yeah. 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 All right. I'm done. Awesome. So it's about 4 a.m. You know, you guys have traveled through the night. Um, 6.30, 6 a.m. comes around. And you roll into an oasis. Ooh. While it's loading. So... And it, you guys should be... Loading any second now. Yes. Yes, it's loading. It's about 6 a.m. The sun's you know, starting to bright. It's about 8 a.m. now. There you go. Um, there we go. Here's this. And here. Unfortunately, um, in like 30 minutes, I might have to leave. I heard. It's okay. So we'll talk about that in, in just a second. Um, so, like I said, you know, uh, like a mirage rising. Did I already read this? No. Um, like a, a mirage, you know, rising from the unforgiving dust. Let me send a picture of this for you guys. Um, uh, I'll start from the beginning. You know, like a mirage rising from the unforgiving dust of the Badlands, Seditious's quick oasis emerges as a vibrant, unexpected paradise. Nestled just off the Black Road and cradled by a curve of one of the few desert rivers cutting through the barren landscape, the oasis is a stark contrast to the harsh surroundings. Shaped like a horseshoe, the area teems with a stunning array of vegetation, lush greenery, and a soothing sight for sore eyes. From the moment you step into the oasis, you're greeted with an explosion of life and activity. An arid silence of the Badlands gives way to the harmonious bustle of commerce. The hawkers cry, the clinks of coins, and the low murmur of haggling filling the air. Shops, stalls, and open markets line the streets. They're vibrantly colored awnings offering a respite from the relentless desert sun. So yeah, so you guys are, you know, you've come up across this bridge. Um, you're in free movement mode and um, the entrance is across the bridge and to the north. Nice. So let's talk about, okay. let's talk about sort of the state of where you guys are. Um, we've been playing for about two and a half hours. Um, what you just went through was, um, I, I'd say, the first thirty-five to forty percent of the of the session. What? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, it's 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 doable in four hours, but you know, there's a lot of you know, it's a slower. You guys are all new, right? Um, so the question that I'll have for you is, um, do you want to just sort of do the oasis and then end here? Do you want to do the end of oasis oasis and end here, and then play again a second time? Um, do you want to play without play without your friend? I mean, what's like sort of? I defer to you guys on what you want to do. 
I'm more than open to play again if anyone else is. And I would, yeah, I say we finish the Oasis and then we, we get back on like whenever we can. It might be next weekend. Yeah, right. you're okay with playing again, Robert? Yeah, I'm definitely down yeah. with playing again. Okay, yeah, this was really, really cool. Thank you so much. If, if I like kind of had more heads up, Xander, I would have definitely freed my schedule a lot more. Yeah, I I kind of pulled uh, my cousins in at the last second because two other friends, like I said, um, uh, I think I think my dad might have told you, uh, two other friends uh, had to couldn't make it. No worries. Do scheduling and stuff like that. But that was really, really cool. We got a little combat in. We got a little trickery in. I mean, that was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's a lot of fun. let's set it up and we'll get you guys into the Oasis and then we'll call it, you know? And then I'll, um, I mean, I could possibly play tomorrow, but that's probably pretty short notice too. Um, other than that, then we get into the holidays. So just, it, we'll, we'll play whenever we all can, right? Yeah, whenever. yeah, definitely. Yeah, so... All right, so you guys have free movement um, all the way to the other side of the bridge if you want. One of the things you guys notice as, you, as you're here is like, this is an oasis, but there's very little water, mm -hmm. right? Um, and, and it's awfully lush, so it looks like there's like, you would expect this to have been filled with a lot more water. So um, free range, you guys can move beyond your right. distance all the way over to about here. Okay, guys. Uh, you wait, guys can load it in, right? You guys can see everything? I just yeah. see a black screen. Okay. Kind of, oh. Did I reload? oh wait, wait! You're not you're not seeing anything. No, well, I see this. I'll just put it on the chat. As in, as oh, in, I, I don't remember. You can only see your vision. You know, there's a I, wall. Yeah, your right vision. There. I understand that part. I see still like the black with like. Oh, just loaded in as I was speaking. God oh, dang. the color. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see anything. But now, oh, yeah. yeah, now I see it. Yeah, I, I had I forgot to turn on global illum illumination. My bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, cool. So, yeah, move to you can move to here if you want. Up, I guess. Yeah. Up to where? Uh, oh, just across the bridge. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Across the bridge. Cool. I jump on the bridge fifty times to scare people. Uh oh, is there any guards? <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I jump so once. As you come across, as you come across that or that, that corner, um, Ooh. you're met with a couple of uh, like a handful of desert guards. They look, they look like assholes. Um. <laughs> But they aren't, they're sort of stink eyeing you. They're not really saying too much. You know, you're not sure why they're there. Um, maybe they, you know, maybe this is protection for the Oasis. You know, who can say? You know, as you guys get a little bit closer, they're just like, you know, move along. Okay. They're kind of like the desert stormtroopers. Mm. <laughs> okay. I, tell right? him, I tell him he has a nice looking helmet and then, and then, and then walk by. <laughs> he, nod, he nods approvingly. Um, okay. and, and you guys can go to about the front door and then uh, group up. Okay. Front door? Cool. Yeah, here's the door right here. Oh. It's kind of like Jurassic Park. Dang it. Ah. Oh. So, yeah, you didn't really get that muck. That's going away. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, you know, it's very Jurassic yeah. Park-like, right? You know, you've got the, the, the two torches flanking a giant wooden door. Um, if you want to open the door, click the little door icon, and it'll open up. Oh. And then move on in. Guys, I think we can take them. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. In. All right, guys. Here's up for a little mission. <laughs> okay, so what you have here is a couple of things. Um, once you get in, just sort of hang tight in the middle. Cool. See, I see you've locked Muck outside. <laughs> yeah, we locked Muck. Muck doesn't deserve to get in. Just kidding. I opened the door. Now, just a gentle reminder, because this was two and a half hours ago, um, Sid Dishes, who owns this place, has asked you guys, the heroes, to come here and, and chat. Um, but as you're in here, you see hustling and bustling. People are moving around. Um, to the north, you see Jimmy Hammertoe, weapons and stuff. It's a shop. You can buy weapons, you know, whatever. You can have conversations. To the south, you have commoner. I'm sorry, you have Sally, Sally's Good Good... Oh, God. Sally's <laughs> Good General Goods. Um... To the left of her, you have Flambeau's Emporium of Magics and stuff, right? Ooh. And then, of course, you know, Sid is known worldwide um, for his, you know, sort of under the table, you know, back room <laughs> stuff, right? <laughs> um, so you're in there. Any questions you want to, anything that you want to know, see, right? This is role playing, so. Can I head towards the magic shop? <laughs> yep, absolutely. Where is the magic? I don't know where it is. <laughs> Can you like ping it? Ping it right there. All right. Cool. All right. So we do these one at a time. So if you're at the magic shop, 
to the chat. So, nestled beneath an awning that flickers with ethereal shimmering hues, Flambeau's Emporium of Magics and Stuff exudes an air of an enigma that mirrors its proprietor. The, the market is, the booth is um, a magnet for curiosity seekers and arcane practitioners alike. Reading in an almost tangible aura of mysticism, um, presiding over this bizarre bazaar is Flambeau, a tall figure clad in a robe of changing colors. His deep set eyes and his captivating as the items he sells, you know, scan the market, keenly observing his patrons. His fingers dance with silent melody, causing sparks of multicolor magic to light up around him. He's quite the showman. Um, adding another layer of captivating allure to Flambeau's Emporium of Magics and Stuff. Um, now, here's the fun thing. Um, you can ask him questions. You can do whatever you want. If you double click the character, it opens up his shop and you can shop there. And, and uh, so while you're doing that, does anyone want to talk to any of the other merchants? Ooh. Uh, uh, Flambo is. Could I talk to the weapons person? Flambo himself, because yes. I'm kind of confused. Yeah, sure. One second. The, the weapons person's up here. So whoever's doing that, I'll do that narrative, and then um, while you guys are shopping. So that narrative is. And by the way, I wrote all this, so if it's typos, I apologize. <laughs> Jimmy Hammertoe's weapons and stuff is a feast for any battle-ready eye. The booth, shielded from the harsh desert sun, sun by an awning dyed vibrant shade of blue, stands firmly against the backdrop of the bazaar. Presiding over the, all of this is Jimmy Hammertoe himself, a burly figure with arms like tree trunks, scarred hands bearing testament to his trade. He greets every potential customer with a broad grin, ready to provide a demonstration and or offer advice about his array of weapons and equipment. His enthusiastic energy breathes life into the booth, drawing a steady stream of customers, making his market stall bustling hub within the bazaar. And for him, you are welcome to double click him, and that opens up his merchant shop, and you can shop if you want. Anyone else? There's um, Sally's Goods and Goods and whatever else. Um, and there were some questions about Flambo. Did you want to talk to Flambo? Uh, I wanted to see. I wanted to see his inventory. I'm sorry, I, I can't exactly tell where he is. Oh, you want to see my inventory, eh? I'm right here. I'm. I have the red hat on. So if you want to see my inventory, just you know, get up on me a little closer, and then just double click me, and I can uh, you know show you what I got. You know, oh, you're awfully close. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, bud. <laughs> no worries. I, I've got lots of magics and stuff. I, uh, you know, and if I if I don't have it, if you have some time, I can possibly get it for you. Now the shadier goods you want to you're going to want to talk to Sid Dicious because uh, that uh, guy you know he has some he has some of the other things but yeah enjoy. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you are so now you, you are now shopping as in you know old shopping yeah yeah it's very I'm, very you know I'm buying that healer's kit very Far Cry <laughs> yeah healer's kit just in case buy it. Nice. Action. What else you got on you? Action. Action plus five. Eight. Ooh. Mapper scroll. Okay. I'm, cool. I'm gonna buy a hal halberd. You're gonna go? Oh yeah. Halberd? Oh well, oh wait, before you buy it. Oh I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> because because sometimes you have to be proficient with a certain weapon in order to actually be able to use it. Oh, I think I. Oh, have. is one of you guys still wounded? You can buy a casting of cure wounds. Everyone, um, everyone healed up on the long rest. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. What else you got? Is there like hypothetically, is there a way to heal with just like I don't know, food or potions that you can yeah. buy from? Like, yeah, like, yeah, you, and that's well, that's what a long rest does, right? So it heals you to hold, to full health. So when you when you need your healing normally, it's like you're in a battle or you can't long rest or whatever else. Like that's when you you know if you're getting hit pretty hard, like um, like was it Muck that got hit pretty hard? I can't remember. Yeah, um, yeah I don't I think it was uh, Miko. Oh, oh Miko, yeah, yeah, it was Miko. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, so if you know if it was in a situation where like no one could get to you, right? Like you could chug a uh, for you could use an action to you know chug a, a potion of healing. Food in and of itself doesn't heal you real time. That's that's part of the long rest, right? Because you eat, you sleep, right. you get, you know. But like potions and that sort of thing heal you um, in the moment. Cool. I'm also buying a herbalism kit so I can make drugs. That's I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, no, no vaping. <laughs> All right, I got. So as you're, uh, you know, as you guys are doing this, um, especially, you know, Flambo is really trying to just make sure that he gets you guys some good sales. Um, 
but anyone, anyone, anyone who, you know, approaches, um, Jimmy Hammertoe, um, you know, you hear him sort of, you know, grumping about the fact that there's no water because he's a Smith and he needs water. And he's complaining right. that the, the desert guard or somebody is like, has sort of diverted water from the oasis to some other place. Right. Um, and it's a real pain in his ass. Right. You know, he's actually, he's offering anyone who can help out, uh, some, you know, some weapon repairs and some, some maybe some special weapons as a reward um, as, as sort of to, to sort of butter up whatever Sid Dicious is offering people. Right. Because he knows that Sid's trying to solve that same problem. Can we talk to him and tell him we're doing that? Yeah, you can absolutely um, talk to him. So uh, is that what you want to do? Yeah, I'll tell him that. So he maybe cuts ah. the deal later. So yeah, you're the heroes. <laughs> you're the heroes that are here to solve uh, to solve our water problems, are you? Yeah, we're yeah. Uh, working for Seditious. Uh, we're actually hired by them, and uh, uh, if you want to maybe throw some extra stuff our way, uh, once we do that, that'd be real appreciative. Well, I'm sure you would. Uh, you know, um, I'll tell you what. You know, um, you're gonna have to get past the desert guard. Right, so oh. you know, I, I can maybe help you with that a little bit, um, but uh, you know, you have to promise that you're going to return the water. That's that's my lifeblood here. I I need that to happen. Oh sure, and I've got I've got a little bit of extra just in case things don't pan out. So you got insurance on you. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If you uh, you know, if you if you help me out. Um, I might be able to, you know, you talk to Sid and see what, what he hooks up. If you don't, if you're not feeling good about the deal, you come back here, let me know. And, you know, I have a couple of things that might, uh, sweeten the pot. Very interesting. We definitely will. Thank you for the offer. All right. Sounds good. Uh, you'll find Sid. He's in that building off to the, uh, to the west there. Oh, head, got it. Head through the door and, uh, you know, you do your thing, but I'm here. I've got plenty of weapons if you want to buy anything. Thank you so much. We'll definitely come back once that's completed. So he sort of, you know, turns his attention to some of the other patrons. Yeah. Oh, Sid is big. Let's Sid go is talk. Big guy. Let's go talk to Sid. <laughs> Everyone loves Sid. Yeah, I see. I see you're you're looking at Sid dishes. So let me get his narrative open. <laughs> what? He's trying to riz me up. <laughs> riz up Sid. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't have enough gold. He has a spell scroll. No, right? no, he has He's healing word. Yeah. So, you know, so upon approaching Sid Dicious's shop, your attention is immediately drawn to the arrangement of round tables flanking the entrance. This inviting tableau sits under the open air of the desert sky, creating a tranquil spot where the rustle of the oasis vegetation is the soundtrack. Right? From the outside, the table is the interior comfort. Sid Dicious's shop is a harmonious blend of local flavors, goods, and experiences, offering a respite and leisure amid the challenging environment of the Badlands. Now, you've also entered the shop, so when you step over the threshold of the shop, the vibrant, inviting atmosphere embraces you. I'll send this to the chat. Boom, boom. There you go. Um, natural light floods the room through large windows, dancing off the surface of pots and crates filled with a myriad of local goods. So, yeah, you see a whole bunch of, you know, uh, goods, lots of, lots of fruits and figs and spices, and it smells amazing, right? Uh, it's, it's a pretty awesome place. Um, but you also have already approached Sid, so here's Sid. So Sid is a figure of intrigue and charisma. His dark hair, often tussled from the endless bustle on the oasis, contrasts starkly with his penetrating eyes, eyes that hold a sparkle of mischief and seem to know more than they let on. He has a rugged handsomeness about him, etched by the years of journeying and adventuring. His skin is kissed by the sun and carries the lean physique of a man who has spent a lifetime on the move. These years of travel and adventure, however, have not hardened Sid. Instead, they seem to have imbued him with an infectious zest for life and an undying curiosity. His laughter is hearty and his tales of the past exploits shared with irresistible fever, um, captivating all who find themselves in his company. So he's he's quite the charmer. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have a question. You can ask that question. For Sid or for him? <laughs> Am I allowed or quote unquote able to um Steal? steal. <laughs> oh no! You you can yeah. So you you are, you are allowed to try to steal. You have to tell me what it is you're trying to steal, and then we roll for it. Um, okay. And then if you fail that roll, you decide which um, which hand you want to lose. Which hand I want to lose? 
Yeah, yeah, you're in you're in the Badlands, right? The pun the punishment for the punishment for even something is is like um, is uh, stealing a, an apple is losing a hand. So it's gonna be worth it at least, right? <sighs> guys, yeah, what do you cool. guys think? How how bad do we we're need a potion of healing? <laughs> we're, we're in a huddle descri- discussing this. We're not. You yeah, know, we're in a huddle discussing this. Yeah, yeah. we don't uh, need one. What is something we need? <laughs> so uh, so the you know the bottom line is hey, if you're just if, if you, you want to steal to see. Room, if it's for the thrill of stealing, that's one thing. If you're trying to steal potions, that's the kind of thing you should negotiate with the person hiring you. Oh. Yeah, he's kind of hiring us. So, it's like, we can steal it from our that's lawyer, which is, which is kind of based, but at the same time, I don't but think it's we also like, it, quote unquote, it is kind of the thrill, too. Like, what if I don't get caught, you know? Do you want that scroll? Where was the scroll at? I forgot. I, I saw this. There's a scroll somewhere. Who had yeah, the, the healing the healing word it's, scroll. It, it, yeah, I remember who had that. Here's something you can do it, with no, mage here. hand. You can use mage hand to steal that stuff, so but you have, to, you have to you have to slide hand it. You have to. Yeah, we have to. Yeah, what's my wait, wait, wait. What what level is your sleight of hand at right now? Ooh. Uh, oh, again, good. Sleight of hand of. Is it the plus three or is it the thirteen? That, Xander or Gil, since you guys are, what about the casting of Raised Dead? Negotiate with that. that one, no, no, that one, that one, you need, you need, a, you need a, yeah, you, and you also need components for that. Oh, like, raise dead. Oh, wait, no, that's that's just it. surviving people, right? Yeah. yeah the, the, the healing oh, word is just a, is a spell. All right. Um, can we just ask yeah. if you, the terms of our deal? Yeah, we can just ask him about like what's yeah. what's happening. <laughs> okay. Okay. You, 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 and you said so. So go ahead, go ahead, Josh. Ask. So, right. Mister Mister Sid, what's uh, would you would you bring us out here for? Would you hire us for? Uh, so look, the Desert Guard, or someone beyond the Desert Guard, who knows? But at least the Desert Guard um, has uh, has been up to no good, right? Typically, this is a bustling oasis. Um, full of water and life and things are good where we share our water with the farmers we share water with the you know with with all those who need it um but for some reason the desert guard have been instructed to divert our water for some who knows what and it's uh it's drying up this oasis it's it's killing the very lifeblood it's harming our farmers it's harming the community um so they're at the waterworks the fortress waterworks um and uh and need to be stopped now i don't know who's behind this Right. Um, all I know is that the desert guard are in cahoots. But you know, you, you know, you and I know these desert guard. These are just thugs for hire. Like this is this is this is not an honorable profession, right? Um, they don't care about theft, right? So, you know, what I need is I need a group of people that can get into that that waterworks, right? Um, get into the pump room, which is is in the lower level, and then turn the pumps back on to bring water back here. Right, and anyone who does that, you know, I will pay. I will pay handsomely. Do you have what, are we, what are we talking for payment? Yeah. Well, a couple of things. Uh, <laughs> I would say, how many of you are there? Five. Five. Yeah, Five. we're talking about ten thousand gold. Oh wow! It's about, it's about two thousand a piece. Yeah, I mean, if you make it back, you to collect. Um, and then I will, uh, and I will let you draw from my, um, my, my bag of questionable goods, um, before you head out as a, as an act of good faith. And I've heard rumors that, um, that a hammer toe might also sweeten the deal with, um, with some magical weapons. Um, but that's sort of between, between you and him. But, um, that, you know, that's, that's the offer on my side. Okay. That sounds like a great deal. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think we take the offer. I think yeah. I think we accept your deal, good man. <laughs> so as part of this, you know, as part of this, I'll make sure that you have all of the rations and um, and you know, you look like a group that can hold their own. But I'll throw some healing potions your way. Um, maybe a couple of a potion of invisibility, a couple of other things to sweeten the pot. But if, if this is a, if you're interested, I think we're uh, do we have an accord? We have an accord. Yes, we do. I think I know who that, that sounds like. Is. Do, we, do we get an early payment? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. So, so you you will get an early payment. He will let you pull from the shady goods. Mm-hmm. Right. Um. 
And let me see if I uh, see if this works. Um, should be able to pull it to the <clears throat> should be able to pull it to the um, oops chat window and s- see if you guys are allowed to roll it. So no one click this when it goes into the chat window um, until I tell you to. So Xander, can you do me a favor? And this is this will, this will be your draw from the shady goods. Can you click that and see if it rolls? Uh, you do not have submission permission to view the sheet. Wait. So I said, clicked on I clicked on merchant shady goods. I clicked on it and it said you don't have sufficient permission. Okay. Or something like that. So I so I have to roll it. That's what I just wanted to check to see if I have to roll. So I'll oh. for each of you I'll roll. All right. Um, hold on. Let me see where where's the utilities. Equipment, search, merchant tables. There it is. And all right. So um, you can choose if you want alchemy, general goods, or weapons. Mm. So Alexander you, or um, Xander, you're first. Which which would you like? Alchemy, goods, or weapons? I'll I'll draw from the weapon pile. All right, and you get. Why do you need a weapon? Okay. A vicious wow. great. You get a sword. vicious great sword. So I will pull that into your inventory. Whoa. Okay. Next up, let's do. I'm looking at in order. Um, muck. So I'm going to roll from muck. Which do you want it from? Magic, um, weapons, or goods? What would be in the goods? Um, goods are things <laughs> um, like it's it's, it's probably your, the least like disguise kits, um, a double bladed mm-hmm. scimitar, possibly a you know great a great sword, basic poison, that sort of a thing, antitoxin. Um, okay, it's probably the le- lesser of them, but you know you do you. I'm going to go for the general goods. All right, here's what you get. He rolls, and you get... God damn it! (laughs) You get a playing card set. Uh, You got some cards, brother. So, not everyone's a winner. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like... All right. So that is now in your inventory, Muck. Next up is... Huit. Which table would you like to roll from? Let's do Alchemy. Alchemy it is. So alchemy, you get a movable rod. Immovable rod. Oh, those are pretty cool. Oh my god. So a movable rod is this rod that you can place anywhere and it will not move. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> now it's, that sounds lame, but if you think about the number of uses for like so you know, yeah, it's pretty cool. awesome. Um so Muck like will probably time trade time. you his his playing cards for that. Um <laughs> All right, so that's that person. The next person is Miko. Can I get a weapon? A weapon it is, a shady weapon. Your weapon is short bow of warning. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Playing cards for that. <laughs> All right, inventory. There you go. Um, and who, who am I missing? Is someone not in the room? Oh, oh crap! I'm outside. I was just looking outside, you know. Oh yeah, you you come, you come oh, rolling in. <laughs> Man, you, yeah, you're really no, all right. All right, so Hernan, there you go. And what uh, I'm assuming weapons, or you want the general goods roll as well? Weapons. And you get Whoa. Warhammer of Warning. Ooh. Now, Sid, you know, Sid looks at at at, at, at was it Muck that got the playing cards? Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. Wasn't it? Oh, yeah. And he's like, he's like, look, you know, I feel kind of bad. Do you want one more pull? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> All right. So you better make it worth my time by by returning water to my oasis. So which which would you like it from? Let me get a weapon. And you get playing cards. <laughs> playing cards. <laughs> <laughs> you got a plus one warhammer, which oh, is that's pretty good. Much better. (laughs) 
And uh, so you'll need to decide if you guys can use these things, right? Um, or I, not. I cannot. Um, in which case, you guys are welcome to trade, but that's that's sort of that, right? Um, along with that, he's going to give you each. Hold on. Um, Got to open it up. He's going to give you some potions of healing. Awesome. So, terrain goods. Nope. Um, uh, items. There it is. Items. Uh, and then we're gonna think. Call it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can I can I make a trade first? I mean, you can't. Let me get your potions of healing first. Okay. Um, and he's gonna offer you your choice of three more potion potions from a, a, a list. So let me get you your potions of healings first. All right. So Hernan, um, potion of healing. Potions of healing. Yes, potion of greater healing for you. Miko, your potion of greater healing. All right. Huit, your potion of greater healing is going into your inventory. This Xander. Is actually, like a lot of fun. Yeah. Awesome. Did I get did I get everybody? I think I got everybody. Yeah. All right. So then he's gonna he says, you know, look, and to, you know, well, I should go into voice. All right, guys. So, you know, money, weapons that you couldn't afford on your own, um, plus some healing potions. I'm going to give you the choice of three different potions now. Um, you can have three potions. And here's what you have to choose from. There's potion of invisibility. And listen to them before you decide. Um, potion of, uh, of invisibility. Potion. Oops. Um, Potion of, hold on, I'm scrolling. My, my machine is being laggy. Um, potion of flying. Potion of diminution, which means making yourself small. Potion of growth. And um, potion of clanvoyance. Clanvoyance? Clan, uh, clan, I'm sorry, yeah, clamboyance. What is that? Um, hold on. So, <laughs> basically, you, you create an invincible and uh, an invisible sensor within range, right? Uh, in a location unfamiliar to you, and it remains in place. So it's like a think of it like a, an alarm, right? Uh, like a proximity yeah. alarm. I say we either take that one or the one that makes you. So small. You, yeah, so you can see through it. So like whatever you you can see and you know you can see and hear whatever's happening there. So you can, it's like a like oh. a video camera. Mm. I can only think of the greatest thing that could come out of someone flying. <laughs> <laughs> oh but my god! If we're small, they they won't be able to see us, right? There was an oh, invisibility yeah. one. Why yeah. not just? Oh, just so you know, these potions work for one person, and there's five of you. Oh crap! Yeah, we get one. So, so you'll choose wisely. Oh, so how and the, about the and, the, no, and no, these are going to go to and he's you know he's going to engage with Xander. So Xander, you're going to hold these things and dole them out as needed. We don't need invis because um because was it I don't know if it was Muck or if it was it's me. I, I have invisibility. Yeah, really turn invisible. Uh, um, and we only get one of these, right? I assume. No, you get you get three of the what I just mentioned. You get three potions three. total. So. Alarm bell, or, sorry, video camera. So you want the clairvoyance? Clairvoyance. And then okay. flight. Flight. Because that's a great help. We, in we, don't need, we do not need invisibility. I know. Okay, so you've invisible. got the clairvoyance. You have two more. Clairvoyance, flight. Second okay, so, so potion of flying. All right, it's in your inventory. One more. Can you describe to me the other two, I think, that were invisibility? Um, there was, hold on. Small. Um, I'm trying to remember what I told you guys. Oh, there was, was uh, you, oh, yeah, growth. Small. Yeah, getting small or getting big. Which I say getting do? small or getting big. Getting small getting small. Would be better. I say getting small. What do we do more damage? Wait, does get, yeah, I'll getting I'll big scale damage. damage. Thank you. Um, no, it's, um, no, it's, um, hold on, let me make sure. Growth. Actually, I think it does. Um. Potion of growth. Oh. Um, <laughs> so, 
You cause a creature to object to, within range to grow larger or smaller for a duration. I think it's hours. Um, if the target is a creature, everything was wearing um, changes the size. Um, it doubles in size in all dimensions. Its weight is multiplied by eight. Its growth increases its size by one category, from medium to large, for example. Um, so it has to fit into spaces, right? Um, all of the weapons are enlarged, and they all all um, attacks with them deal uh, an extra one d four damage. Oh, wow. um, the targets if the, you know re to reduce target size, you know it goes the opposite, right? So um, it does an additional one d four damage. So if you if you roll a ten damage, you get a fourteen damage. Mm. Ooh. So I think we should take a growth one instead. Yeah. Growth I think that would be good in case of combat scenario. We, exactly. we give it to a bar. We give it to a barbarian. They go mm -hmm. double size. They start smashing. I could use it as like a rage and maybe a friendly. Yeah, so rage plus that out. would go crazy with either you or Josh. Yeah. All right. So is it growth? Okay, um, we'll take growth. Let's say growth. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So you Thank so. You. So um, Sid gives you all of the, you know, all, all of the potions. You guys are hooked up. You've got your magic weapons. You're really set for the, you know, for the next half of this adventure. Um, he tells you that there's two ways that you can approach the waterworks. Mm -hmm. There's the front gate, and it's and this this waterworks is is basically a fortress. Um, it's a fortress with a large wall, you know, basically between two mountains. Um, there's an archway and a long walkway that heads out to the fortress. Typically, that for, that walkway is over water, right? But they've drained it, so it's it's basically a big, big dry basin. Which means that right now you can approach also from the west um, through the open basin, right? Uh, depending on the dust, depending on the time of night, you'll either be an open target or you can sneak in the back door, basically. Um, but you'll need to decide what you're going to do when we next play. Yeah, you have to put care. Yeah, that's cool. Would we need to get to the top of the archway in order to get in? Um, you could scale the wall um, and take out. It's it's there's there's guards. Think of it as like a tower wall. So there's these guard stations along the wall. Um, and it's uh, above the basin. Yep. Yeah. Oh no. So it's it's so. Uh, I, let me see if I can. I can just. You know what I'm gonna do. Do I'm have thinking a teleportation. So. I'm thinking a movable rod, flying potion. So I'm gonna activate yeah. this for you guys. So you're gonna see the basin. Okay. Oh, whoa. Xander, I have a, a, a teleportation, so there's also that. How far? It says up to 30 feet. Okay, so if it's higher than that, then we have to do something else. But if we can, then immovable rod, you and rope. I mean, easy money. <laughs> so give me one second. Um, I will start them. here. <laughs> no, okay. You can take them all by yourself. <laughs> Figure, so, Figure, lighting... Um, global illumination, save change. Five and fireballs at them and you win. The thunder, the lightning one did the most freaking damage out that of all this. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Are you guys yeah, seeing it now? Lightning bolt, so everyone yeah. Yeah. Like, it? yeah. <laughs> all right, so I have to activate. So and... we have to take care of these guys? Well, we'd have to. That's the front gate we're looking at right now, right? Yeah, we'd have to go mm. in and then look for that that thing to turn on. Well, there's yeah, you... going to be guards all along this giant fortress. Along if the we go downward, gate, it's going to go wide. on. Yeah, so so but basically, end. this is a mountain. So I'll, I'll ping. There's a mountain here. There's a mountain here. I see. Right? Um, this is the main gate that you walk through. Gates are closed. Um, actually, no, the gates are open. Um Matter of fact, give me two seconds because you should be able to see through there. And I'm not sure why you don't. So give me one second. Oh, this is why. Two shakes of a lamb's tail. Is <laughs> this and this? I'm thinking, of course, back entrance. Not complete Light stealth. Restriction. No way we can stealth the whole way, but you know, no. quick in and out, break and enter. None. We'll see, but do we, do we need to have everybody go in? Well, Update safety. There numbers, you go. Right? There you go. Now, now you can see through, right? Yeah. 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 So, so as you can see, there's this this walkway that walks that goes all the way. Now you're not officially here. This is what they're describing to you, just so you know. Right. Um, yeah. So you can you can be dropped in here, right? 
and you see there's there's some guards along. You know there's gonna be some guards along. There's some guards along that walkway. Makes sense. You know, yeah. There's a pump. Oh, but you're saying we could get below into that where that uh, thing is currently. So in that below. in the in the middle of the screen, you'll see a black area. That's that's the actual pump house. Inside of right. there, yes, inside of there, in one of the rooms in there, there's the access mm. to the pump room below. Right. Gotcha. And right. So you, it's possible yeah. because there's no water to get here and maybe scale. Or yeah. So yeah. So the other the other thing is I will take you guys to the other side over here. You're gonna zip right through. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> right. So the other thing is you can you can come in from this side. Ooh, right. I like this option way better. And then sneak your way in. But there's also it looks like there's a lot more guards in the back. We can go guns I like I can, take the, I can shoot all three of them. Yeah, so it's so you're protected on you know, it's protected. It's it's being guarded, right? And it's which is yeah. which, which strikes you as odd, right? Because this is a, a pump house. Like when did you go to PG and E and you expect to see guards around it? You know? <laughs> so like there's there's something there's fishy going way. on here, right? So now, depending on your luck, there could be a dust storm, right? Which would obscure visibility. You could sneak in under cover of night. There's any number of things that you could potentially do. Right. But that's the things that you guys should noodle on, talk about between sessions. Like, which, yeah. which, which way do you want to go? And then you've got about probably two hours left in this thing. Um, and then you're done. Cool. Mm. Awesome. Any, any questions? Um... That was amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. That was really a lot of fun. Experience. Awesome. I mean, that well, was I'm amazing. E I'm excited that um I'm excited that you guys uh enjoyed it, you know. Yeah, uh, we, we did pretty well too, which I'm happy with. No, you but did. No I mean, died. like no like let's be yet. No one's dead yet. No, no, no but <laughs> there there is still time. Right. Um and you <laughs> you know, you did you did skirt uh, uh, an ogre battle. Which was good. Um, the last team fought their way through, um, which was a, a different experience. So, like as you can see, like this this changes every time it gets played, oh, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, there just be thinking about this, right? So, you guys are thinking like how how do you fight your way in from each side? There's also stealth. How do you sneak your way in, right? Um, yeah, that, you know, can you get too. can you get disguises? Is there any place that you know you're at the oasis right now? Is there any place that you can get desert guard gear, right? Mm -hmm. um, so there's any number of ways, and this is again, I don't usually give this much away, but like there's any number of ways that you can solve this problem. So just think creatively. It's not you don't always have to stealth your way in or fight your way in. There's diplomacy, who knows, right? Right. Uh, right. You guys have done pretty good. So it's a lot to think about. Um, yeah. But <laughs> when we next when we next play, we'll we'll have to play it by ear. But we need about a two hours time slot, maybe two and a half, um, yeah. and we'll start right. scheduling. And again, I am available for a couple of hours tomorrow. But that's pretty short notice. If you guys decide you want to do that, just let Alexander know. And feel free to use the chat that I created for you guys to scheme if you want someplace to track what you're talking about. Even awesome. We'll be watching the so. yeah. <laughs> I'll post this. Yeah, I'll post this to YouTube. You guys, for the first 45 minutes, there's no sound from you guys. I, 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 that's you fine. know, I, I messed up. It was, it was a scramble. I normally would have tested all this stuff, but it was a little real time for me. But um, anyway, I did my best. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, Thank that you. was awesome. I'll send you, I'll send a, I'll post in the, I'll post a link to the video in the Discord. All right? I do have one question, though. Um, yeah, go ahead. When you play with your friends, do you guys have a dedicated game master or like? It's me. It, it's always it's me. It has been always me for, this is the fourth, <laughs> the fourth group I've run. One group we, was a limited yeah. engagement where we decided it was going to be just for, you know, a test. So we did that, I think, about eight weeks worth. Um, the other two have been over three years each. And all of all of the videos are on the YouTube channel, so you'll see them all if you want. They're boring as crap if you're not if it's not you're not playing, right? It's kind of like <laughs> think of how much of, of of our time was just like, well, can I do this? What about that, right? So yeah, yeah. Um, I meant to start this with if you watch Critical Role, that is not what it's normally like. It's that they're all voice actors, right? Um, it's super engaging, and you know Matt Smith's an awesome you know, dungeon master, but. Um, that's not sustainable for most people, right? Because most oh, of us of aren't, you know, we're not actors getting paid a bunch of money to do it. So um, it's a hobby. <laughs> yeah. so, anyway. Thank you so much. Well, well thanks, guys. And your characters are created. So if you ever, you can also, I can export them back if you guys decide you want to play with other DMs or one of you guys that wants to do it. Like your characters mm. can be your characters, all right? So it's awesome. That so all these awesome weapons that you just got, like those are yours now. Um, so. <laughs>
All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.